bad guys. Ed should be over by now. Good morning, I'm Erli. Also, guys, no tweet. Go like it so everybody knows that I'm live. I just forget to plug my Twitter. Siempre. Como se dice? I, I know olvidar se is to forget. Siempre me olvidé? Or me olvidó? Because it's present tense. No sé. I've been doing my Duolingo every day, but like. I have been keeping up with it. Like, I'm not learning new lessons, I'm just doing my dailies. <laughs> also, face came on in one minute? I'm not even kidding. And if we get a million subs, I'll turn it on right now. Oh, I watched um, John Oliver's video about Hawaii this morning. Very good bid. It would be wild if America did give the island back to locals. I wonder what that would even look like. Okay, three, two, one. It works. Hello, good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is 9.59. Just about 10. I'm, I, you know what? I kind of like the 10 a.m. time slot more. You know, I used to edit in the morning, but since it's too hot, I edit at night now, and I kind of like it better. I don't know. I'm also working on new artwork. No narcs, but I'm going to try and have it done within two weeks. And... I think I don't want to do like collections as much anymore. I just want to like drop single pieces. I think that'll be easier for me to manage. But welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well today. The plan is simple. Today we are continuing our playthrough of In Stars and Time. Yesterday we, sorry, my, one of my cords is like touching my leg and it's pissing me off. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Yesterday I had just finished floor two, so we're about to head into the floor three door. So, we'll pick up where we left off. Also, before we get started, today's stream is presented to you by... Oops, wrong scene. <laughs> no leaks. <laughs> Peace and out to myshopify.com. Oh my god! Sorry, my sister just went to sleep, so I kind of got to be a bit quieter. New... Oops, wrong command. Uh, new Lionel prints are available. Ain't no way. There's a color and black and white versions. I offered black and white because I think it'd be cool if people wanted to color it themselves. You know, go for it, have fun. And you can purchase the whole collection or just the singles by themselves. If you do get the single, you get a 10% chance of getting a hollow. And use code TWITCH10 for $10 off. Ain't no way. New artwork coming in the upcoming weeks. Not even kidding. Should I leak what it is? If we get a single sub, I'll leak what it is at any point today. Okay. Should we play the game? Let's see if it's synced first. Oh, I was muted. I said I'm wearing striped shirt and striped pants. Oh my god, it's, it's so trippy.
It's good. I think the reason why my capture cards keep freezing is because my computer overheats. I think that's the problem. So all the times that the capture card kept frozen like a few months ago, it's because like I just didn't have my fan settings on high enough. And you know what? We live and we learn. Live, laugh, and love. The shirt is kind of itchy. Nissan, she go. <laughs> okay. We continue. Now that we have the keys, we can head towards the final door. And I forgot that there was a heal spot here, so I'll just save here. Because there probably is going to be a fight right behind this door. Huh? <laughs> Can't catch me. Key time. You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Oh, a sadness split in two. Strong sadnesses again. Eh, we'll be fine. Let's go. Go! We're not even gonna talk to him? You know, you can talk people down. You're not gonna go swinging. We ain't the coppers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> two sadnesses. Get ready, everyone. Abatiment. Weak. Okay, they have the hand symbols. Also, hi, Tooth. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I only have the one sadness. Is it a big sad, though? <laughs> okay, let's see. Scissor damage might lower their attack. I think I want to increase our speed first. Since it's going to be a bigger fight, I'm going to do increase our stats first. Increase our attack. Oh yeah, the enemy's speed is pretty quick. That's good, too. It's always good to get medical attention. There's no shame in it. I'm proud of you for that. Like, for me, I know therapy helped a lot. I'm gonna re-enroll soon. Again. <laughs> but... Yeah, it'll be, like, hopefully by the end of the year. Lower their speed. Oh, I can only attack one? Oh. I guess Rock is the- Rock is the better one, because I have two enemies weak to Rock. Or two allies. Well, awkward Sifrin's frozen. I'm gonna give my turn to Odile, and then do paper damage. Paper of the Damn. And of course we gotta unfreeze Sifrin. Rock's defense, because I only have two friends that do paper damage.
lower both enemies attack potentially Scissor damage to the paper. We gotta get a hit on him. Two friends, that's a lot. I know, right? I can barely keep up with one friend. <laughs> Uh-oh. Resist, it is still did a lot. Scissor damage to one enemy might lower their defense. Nice. Let's give our turn to Sifrin. That way Sifrin can get one more attack in. The triple scissor attack? Oh my god! Oh yeah! Since it was the... I gave the turn away. It did more damage. Uh oh. Hmm. It'd be cool if Mirabel had an attack that like heals everyone. That would be epic. Close to a scissor combo right now. The short headed one is doing something. Oh. Okay. <laughs> wow. A little bit of friendly fire there. Oh, crab! It killed the other one and healed itself in the process. Okay, good thing I kept the scissor combo going then. Watch this wombo combo incoming. Potentially might lower their defense. Nice! What? There's literally nothing in the health bar. There's nothing. You know, how poetic would it be if a rock took out a paper? You breathe in and out. 7,000 XP received? Oh my god. Sifrin is now level 51. Mirabelle is now level 49. Isabel is now level 50. Odile is now level 50. We won! Alright! One last floor to go! Okay, that was not the right voice at all. I feel like I change Bo's voice all the time. Ominous hallway? I'm gonna check the pillars just to be safe. It's a broken pillar. A pillar. Okay, no traps, allegedly. This room feels safe too, doesn't it? Break time? Maybe not. We might still have a lot to- Oh, what was that? It was my tummies, <laughs> sorry. That was so loud. How hungry are you for it to be this loud? I don't get the swole by skipping meals. Ugh. Anyway, let's take a break for now. Oh, I thought Bonnie was crying, but it's just crumbs. Bon Bon? How much longer till the snacks are done? Five minutes. Okay, take your time. Hey, everyone. Hey. Hey. Hmm? 
So, um, we haven't brought it up yet, so, um, I have a question. Ah, oh, secret adult conversation for adults no kids allowed? Do you not want Boniface to hear? Yeah. If we're sure they won't hear, then, yeah. Say it normal volume. Oh. Bonnie has a crab face, Bonnie's the cutest, or Bonnie forgot to tie their shoe. Let's not distract them, because they're cooking our meal. Bonnie's the cutest! Ah, uh, they sure are. You gave a thumbs up. Good. Um. Okay. So. If any of you bites the dust, what should we do with your body? Um. <laughs> what? Yikes. I I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry to ask. I know it's not the best moment, but most of us have different beliefs, don't we? So, well... In case change forbid, one of us dies today and the other are able to honor your body, how should we do it? Like, Madame Oda, is there a... Kabuin? Kabuin, Kabu. Like, Madame Oda, is there a Kabuin way, or... No, it's... It's a valid concern. Well... In Kabu, you turn the body and take the ashes to a gem maker to transform them into a diamond. But that won't be easily feasible, will it? You change it to a diamond? Hardcore. He wants to eat you for lunch! <laughs> but if that's not doable, you can donate my body to any house in Vagard. If Vagard is saved, then I'm sure they'd have a use for the body of a savior. Well, the house of change remember- I, th I thought I said remembers. Well, the House of Change recommends burying your body under a tree, so our body can nurture the nature around it. Be a part of change and all that. Is it the same for you, Isabeau? I mean, I'd be dead, right? So I don't really care that much about later. And for well, Bonnie, what shall we- We won't allow Bonnie to die over our dead bodies. Even if we're about to die, there are ways to use craft to make sure Bonnie will survive. So, no matter what, you all nod. That's something you all agree with. What about you, Sifrin? Will there even be a time that this will apply to you? You won't die for good, so it doesn't matter. But... Okay, you're not gonna be cocky. Everybody's being vulnerable. Bury me on the highest peak, throw my ashes in the sky. Oh yeah, because I'm stardust. Just throw my ashes to the sky. Oh, this is new to me. Is it perhaps common where you come from? Ooh, wink. Um, sorry for asking. <laughs> I was being playful. Hey, are you done talking? Because it's snack time, baby. Oh, it's serious business snack time. I'm listening. Snack times are always serious business, dummy. Today I have, um, some Madelines. Madelines? Thank you for making some, Boniface. Mm. I also have some pineapple slices. They have some sugar on them. Just plain pineapple slices with sugar. And pineapple's good, you know. It is. It's just not very exciting, is all. Exciting? You want exciting? Then eat this! Fish head! Fish head? Fish head? Why a fish head? Fish heads are yummy and the textures are different and good! Are they? They are! Okay. So which neck do you guys want? You would like... I don't like pineapple that much. And I had cookies last time. I'll do the fish head. I'll be original. Um, one fish head, please. There you go. Bonnie hands you the fish head. I have another if someone wants one. I'll try it. I'm curious. Do I eat the whole thing? Yeah. But, like, not the eyes, right? No, you eat the eyes, too. They're the best part. Ah. Uh. Isabeau hesitantly takes a bite. Oh! Oh, it, it's alright, actually. Uh-huh. 
You ate yours. Yummy. After eating your snacks, health has been restored. Okay, let's talk to everybody. Do you like fish eyes? I've never had a fish head. I don't like anything that has, like, a texture that I don't know. <laughs> I would be down to try it, but I don't know if I would order it willingly. Bonnie seems to be thinking hard about something. We'll save your sister, Bonnie. Huh? Oh. Yeah, I know. Mirabelle is biting her nails. You point to them. Nails? Oh! Um, thanks, Sifrin. She should wear gloves like you do. We're gonna be okay. I hope so. You might even say. Huh? Oh, oh no. We're gonna nail it. I won't let you win. <laughs> you almost did, though. We could die today, huh? Oh well. I've had a good life. You won't die today, Odile. Oh, is that so? I won't let you. You can prevent it, after all. Hmm. Keep that sort of speech for the younger ones. I'm sure Isabel would love it. Hey, Sith. You know you kind of look like a hamster when you eat? You do? No, I don't. I'm so sorry to be the one to tell you this, but... You do. Your cheeks get all big and round. Like a cute little hamster. Isabel. Yeah? Stop being cheeky. <laughs> I love Bo. He's my favorite. You reach towards the light. I'm locked in. You know who else needs to lock in? Those who aren't following the channel. Because guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes, and you get to type a chat. Ain't no way. Also, the music is so, like, uplifting and swelling. I'm scared. We continue on. Are you ready? Uh, not yet. Okay. We can stay here a bit longer. Why is there a ribbon on the floor? I can't touch it. Now I'm ready. Alright, let's go. Maybe it's hair, like, tangled? Yeah, it's just part of the floor. Wait. Do you hear that? That sound, that's... That's the king! He's... Crying. That's awkward. Maybe he's cut- maybe it's like the Midas touch? Where he doesn't realize that he has the power until he touches people. Oh, I wanted to touch the sparkles. Battle start. Scissors. Might lower enemies' defense. Dang, that still did ample damage. The scissor did just as much as the rock. Oh yeah, because I'm higher level. Let's do rock just to for sure take it out. Easy. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. There's a key on the floor. You pick it up. You found the empty key. 
The keychain dangling from it shaped like a mask of some kind. You put the empty key in your pocket. Well, judging by its location, I'm su Well, judging by its location, I'm guessing this is the key for the gate just ahead, but... Okay, was that scripted? Oh! So it is paper? Let's do lower enemies defense. It's got ample health. Boost everybody's defense. I'm gonna heal just to be safe. Lower enemy attack, because this enemy is fairly quick, so they're gonna cycle their attacks fairly quickly. Boost our attack. Oop. Slow them down, because I don't have the scissor attack anymore. to Mirabelle so they can do a scissor attack right now. Because I have a better chance of doing a crit if I pass my turn on. I'll heal Sifra next round. Lower enemy defense. Let's try paper OB, see how it does. How is that so strong? Odell's the goat, honestly. And now we can cure Sifrin. That one get one free, do the crit. Nice. Oh, I just realized I ruined my scissor combo with the paper move. Oh, that's okay. Get my turn back to Sifrin. And we got the scissor move back. Nice. That was clean. You breathe in and out. 1000 XP received. Ooh. I don't think we can go in the door yet. The gate is covered in some sort of thread. It doesn't seem locked, but you're not sure the key you picked up would be useful here. This thread is so strange. I can't seem to move it aside. Frozen thread. It seems to be covering the rest of the floor, too. Can we cut it? Whoa. Wow, 
Bonnie flipped her cape up, grabbing her dagger. <laughs> Yo! Aya! Okay, Bonnie, you didn't have to do that. I was gonna try that anyway. <laughs> Did you break my dagger, Bonnie? No. No! I promise! Oh, it actually isn't. That's good news. So scary, Sif. His dagger isn't broken, but it didn't seem to have done anything to the thread. Oh, wait, look! It did something! The thread is slightly dented here. So a sharper knife could do the trick, maybe? I suppose. Either way, we should explore this floor more. Before you start walking, Bonnie tugs on your cloak. Sorry, friend. Wow, they must really feel bad. An apology from you, Bonnie. That's... mag -nificent. <laughs> I, I mean, not funny, Sifrin. You crab. A knife, huh? I'm gonna go to the right. So you probably are gonna find a stronger weapon in this floor. Oop. Oh, the door is locked! A symbol over the keyhole is shaped like an angry mask. Okay, caught. Oh, it's this guy again. Keelan, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? I just saw your TikTok. How dare you say I made a poor bet? What? Isn't that a good title? That clip did well on YouTube. You know, whenever you guys watch stream, you guys consent to being clip chimped. But hi, Keelan. Can we get some yo's? You should make another one of those bets. Hi, Ethan. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. It's a foot monster? Shut up. It's his hands, you dummy! Wait, no. It's their hands! Yeah, it's paper. It's, it's not their feet. I don't think people's- never mind. <laughs> Those aren't that long, usually. <laughs> okay, we're gonna increase defense. Heal Cyprin. Slow the enemy down at the start. I think for this attempt, I want to try and get the scissor combo. Reminds me of the Ring Fit Adventure. You mean the big buff like Centaur guy? Now, no narcs, but I might play that game in September. No narcs. How do you know his name? <laughs> oh my god. Lower enemy defense. attack here. Wombo combo incoming! This is gonna lower their defense, and then we got the combo! Yes! Okay, so the combo revives and makes our HP bars full. That's huge.
Oh, awkward. It's fine if he's frozen, he can't do anything anyway. And I'd rather get an attack in. Sorry, Bo. Did I make anything from Cooking Mama IRL? No, but I do want to make that into a YouTube series when I have money and like a film crew. So guys, subscribe right now and I'll make it. Um, I'm gonna guard because I don't want to mess with the combo. Curls into a ball, regaining HP. Good thing I didn't lose the combo. Keep guarding. Watch this. Wombo combo. Oh, the combo unfreezes people too? That's huge. You breathe in and out. 1000 XP received. Sifrin is now level 52, and learn the craft skill, Done Heal. Ooh. Okay, so what I'm now learning is, since we're getting enemies that have a lot more HP, I should focus on doing the combo moves. Okay, but this guy's really weak. I can just go pure offensive. Done Heal. Heal 30% of an ally's HP and boost their attack. Ooh, that's pretty chill. You know what, let's do that first to heal Bo, and then it will increase his attack too. That's great that I have a heal move for Sifrin, because Sifrin is my fastest, so Sifrin always goes first. Nice. Oh, I could just do pure offensive, since this enemy is low health. Oh, really? At least when people get frozen, they don't lose health. You breathe in and out. Bomb Vulture, 50 XP received. I'm gonna wake my- I'm gonna make my way back down, because I don't know if this is a dead end or not. Oh, it's another room. I'm gonna get lost. Sorry, I'm having the same issue as yesterday. One little- Stray hair is like rubbing against my ears, bothering me. Okay, so this guy's a rock type. Go bald? I would. I don't think I could ever. <laughs> I like my hair. I just gotta go full offensive here. I don't even like cutting my hair. The last time I went to the salon, my hair was too, like, halfway down my back. And the... I almost said the barber. The salon lady? I almost said barista. I don't know what you call. She cut my hair to here. Like, now it's to here? On me? Dude, she cut off like four inches and I was so sad. Cause she was like, oh, all your hair is bad. We have to cut to here if you want only healthy hair. Did you watch my clips? Yes, I did. They were pretty good. 
But you know, you can't say that a clip is good, because the clip is only good if the stream commentary is good. So like, you're just saying that, like, my stream is good. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Wait, is this the correct way? I'm gonna have to backtrack, aren't I? Oh, what's this guy again? And don't worry, it's not feed its hands. I gotta work my way to get the scissor combo. I'm just gonna attack normally here. Lowering enemies attack because next turn will be the enemies. After this combo! Combos in America? What are snack combos? I mean, like from the gas station? Easy! You breathe in and out. 1000 XP received. Odell is now level 51. A dog. Ha, a dog! I'm not saying that. Puppy! And an actual human also standing right there. They have a massive bow too. Looks cute. Massive bow. Massive bow. Oh! Oh, that's my friend! I gave them that bow. And that's their dog. Oh. Oops. You can never tell them you noticed their dog before, then. No, not ever. Ever! They make fun of me for days! At least they think it's funny, it seems. If you did that to me, Mirabelle, my revenge would be swift and absolute. I would never, Madame Odile! Never, ever! That was a one-time mistake! I'm glad they're with their dog, at least. They're not alone. Oof. Oh, I know those snacks. I sometimes see them at the gas station. My dad liked them. I like them too. But I don't get them anymore because I'm trying to avoid like unhealthy snacks. I say that yesterday and I had dehydrated strawberries covered in chocolate. <laughs> but that's because like they were open and in the snack shelf. I had to eat them before they go bad. Frick, Madam Odell? No! She's snarky. I like her. I thought you don't like healthy snacks. Yeah, I did say that. <laughs> if I'm gonna have a snack, I want it to be bad. But then I feel bad eating it. So I just don't buy them no more. 
The closet contains some bandages, painkillers, and... Oh! Eye patches! Those look ugly. Friends is better. <laughs> Does your eye patch fit still, Sif? I can adjust it if you ever need me to. You smile. Isabel made your eye patch when you lost your eye. He you barely crafted it so it wouldn't bother you or itch or anything. It's comfy and it fits you well. Hmm, so I lost my eye on this journey. I started making cucumber snacks. Wait, did you see that one Tic Tac? <laughs> what a gentleman. Yeah, I think Bo is trying to smash. I'll be honest. A broken figurine of the change god. Some old, boring books. Oh, there's a Kabuin book here. Ah, oh, that's a craftonomy book. We don't really have time to read about craft of any kind. Let's keep going. You leave the book alone. Some old, boring books. Dang, what if I want to get smart? Small paintings of various housemaidens. You can see Mirabelle in one of them. Let him smash? Oh my god, this game is rated teen. <laughs> Various supplies. It's a barrel. It's full of various nuts. A cooking book all about... Croissants? So, Maribel and... So Maribel, about Vigardi and the croissants. You tune out. <laughs> Don't even want to think about croissants. Odell is smiling, which means they're probably done. Hmm. Fascinating. Thank you, Mirabelle. <laughs> hey, you're right, Mira. You have something to say, perhaps? Oh, no, we, we would never. <laughs> it's just... It's very cute, right? Yes, it's cute. Your eyes light up and everything when you're learning things. It's cute. Cute? Dial is cute. She's old. No, Boniface. They have a point. I am very cute, aren't I? I wonder how cute you think I am when I put wasabi in your sandwiches when you least expect it. You'd help me out, wouldn't you, Boniface? I'm always up for putting spicy stuff into people's lunches, so yeah. Oh, no. Um, sorry, madame. We didn't say anything. You chuckle. Ah, oh, looks like Sifrin wants a sandwich as well. Would you like me to offer you one of my sandwiches, Sifrin? You've been spotted. Ooh, do we want to poke some more? Hmm. I'll poke some more. That would be so cute of you, Odile. I'll put twice as many papers in theirs, Dial. See that you do. Scary. You got a memory of first strike. You'll always remember this. When equipped, memory of first strike makes everyone faster at the start of battle. Ooh, I want that. Is that my memory? No. Odile? Oh, memory of first strike. Yeah, I want that. I want to be quick. Boniface looks like Luffy? Oh yeah, I guess. I forgot who Bonnie was. <laughs> A little bit, because like the little hat. There's a chain on the table, probably for a pendant. You pick it up. You got the massive chain. You put the massive chain in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Some vials. Let's see. You got some pepper juice. You give it to Bonnie for safekeeping. So I think whenever you pick up, like, a souvenir, you, you save it whenever you die. Everyone feels faster. Yes!
lowering their attack, because they're about to attack. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Isabel is now level 51. Nobody needs a heal. Pay for LV, maybe this could take it out. Yes, sir. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Nice. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Mirabel is now level 50 and learned the craft skills Shining Life. <gasps> Please tell me that's a revive! Please! Mirabel just learned a new skill. Oh, thing change! I'll be able to help out more! You got the memory of Shining Life. You'll always remember this. One equipped. Your house maiden will be able to use Shining Life as a skill. Even if she isn't at level 50. Shining Life is a skill that revives a KO'd ally. Yes! Oh. It won't replace the other one, right? Because I think once they learn the skill, they keep it. first. What well, Pokemon could you name her child and it would seem like a normal name? Bellossom, maybe? Because then you can call him Bella. But then all- <laughs> It also sounds like the B word for chest. <laughs> Wait, never mind. Maybe Bellossom is not good. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Editor, cut that out, please. 
But you know what I can cut out? Or for sure will cut out? The ad break. Because guys, we are an hour in the stream, so it's time for you to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. Guys, click subscribe right now. And I'll say thank you. Also, I have to remove my ring light. I literally faced it instead of this way, this way. It's not even pointing at me. I don't want to go here yet. Oh, okay. I guess I have to. A mirror. You and your allies are reflected in it. That's a big mirror. Massive, even. And there's not really anybody else of in Massive, even. There's not really anything else of interest in this room. I don't know anything about it. Before the house shifted around because of the king, it was... It wasn't a part of the house I didn't often walk by. Huh. Isabel seems to be looking for something. If it is what I think it is, then it should be... Uh -huh. Everyone, say... Fromage! From it. Oh my god, does it take our picture? What was that? Oh, look. Something's on the ground. A piece of paper. <laughs> Behold! Oh. Oh! It's a picture of all of you. It's us! This is lovely. Isn't it? It's a crafted mirror that takes pictures. I heard rumors someone was creating one, but I didn't know that someone lived in Dormont's house. We look so surprised! <laughs> Only Isabel knew this was coming! Pictures are so rare. It's nice to have one of us. Thank you for telling us about it and for taking a picture, Isabel! Oh. <laughs> it's nothing. You got a memory of reflection. You'll always remember this. When memory of reflection is equipped, your defense will automatically boost at the start of a battle. What should we do with it? Huh. Odal looks at you. Would you keep it safe? Oh, one with all the secret pockets. You beam. You got the mirror picture. You put the picture in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Yay. Uh-oh. I don't want to touch that. <laughs> I assume it's Isabel? Yeah, memory of reflection. I'll I'll do that because I want to increase defense. Oh. The flash of the mirror somehow made something appear. You reach down and pick it up. You found the smiling key. The keychain dangling from it is shaped like a smiling mask. You put the smiling key in your pocket. You now know where the smiling key is located. Okay, either way, we'll have to come back to this room if we reset. And we can't continue on here, so we probably go to, to the leftmost path. But I'm glad I went to the right first. Oop.
easy. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. That door had the angry key. Ah, oh, man, I could have dodged better. Oh, this guy's new. They have one of everything. Oh, okay, so their hands and arms are twisted, so you don't know which enemy is which. Which is which perk. Scissor damage to everyone. Okay, resist was top, weak was bottom. That means top was rock, and then bottom is paper. Breathe in and out. But 650 XP received. Giving our turn back to Sifrin, so Sifrin can do the attack that has more a chance of getting a crit. Watch this. Wombo combo income! Point on, I could just do full offensive moves. One more hit. Easy. You breathe in and out. 1000 XP received. Hi, Emerald. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Am 
My focus with this floor is to make sure everybody is topped off on health at any given time. Because I truly don't know when a larger health enemy will appear. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. That sure is a broken pillar. I'll go down. Oh. Someone frozen in time. Oh! That's the pottery teacher! She doesn't like me. I wrote the whole class's work during the last class I had with her. How did that happen? Everyone's finished work goes on the shelf over here, and I bumped into it. A simple mistake. And it was fine, but then I tried to jump away so I wouldn't break anything, but I bumped into someone else. Uh-oh. Who bumped into someone else? Who bumped into someone else? And so on. Until someone bumped into the table, flipping it over. Right into the shelf. Wish I could have seen it. Yes, this sounds quite entertaining. How many people died? Um... <laughs> got him. An oven for clay. It has a name, but you can't remember it right now. It's called a kiln. I went to art school. It's a kiln, Sifrin. Oh. Some weird tools to make pots. You forget what they're called. Pottery wheels, Sif. Ah. Pottery wheels. An open book, stained by clay and dirty hands. It's an issue of the Cursing of Chateau Castle. Issue number 87. A broken figurine of the changed god. There's some unused clay here. You got some lumpy clay. You put the clay in your pocket along with your souvenirs. A broken figurine of the changed god. A stool. But there's only one, so it'd be rude to sit down. A statue of the change god. It's been destroyed. A shelf filled with little change gods. They're all different shapes and sizes, some smiling, some crying, some with no face at all. There's a box here. The box is filled with crafting materials and finished art pieces that no one liked. Including... Paper mache gloves. They're massive! They were not made for a kid, that's for sure. Huh. You take the gloves and put them near Isabeau's hand. Oh my! A perfect fit! Isabeau bats his eyes. <laughs> my dear Sifrin, would you do me the honor? You laugh and try to put the gloves on him. The stiff paper mache makes it hard, but after some effort, you succeed in your task. <laughs> paper mache hands! How comfortable are they? Not even a little bit! He got the paper mache hands. The paper mache hands are equipped to Isabeau. That's just how it is now. The paper mache hands are very special. When equipped, they turn Isabeau's basic attack from rock to paper. Oh! Oh! That's kind of sick. Because Bo already has two base rock type moves. Wait, that's kind of sick. There's no stat changes, it just changed his type. Wait, I kinda like that! He's more versatile now. The closet contains some tools to make pottery. There's also... You got two salty broths. You give them the body for safekeeping. It's a barrel. It's full of nothing. Oh, it's gonna make me make another choice again, isn't it? I don't want to reset. It is quite annoying how it forces you to reset. Key time. You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Another choice? I'm gonna have to reset three times? That's crazy.
The boom takes two turns versus one turn, so I'll do that one first. Oh wait, no, maybe I should do the single turn, then the two turn, and then the single turn. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> you breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Someone frozen in time. Her! Whoa. She's another housemaiden. I always wanted to talk to her. She's so cool. Her crafted pieces are always so perfect. I want to be just like her when I grow up. Huh? But you're an adult, Belle. You're already grown. Um... I... Oh no, she's realizing she's a real actual grown adult now, huh? We all go through this realization, Mira. It'll be okay. Oh. No, sorry, it's not that. It's just... She looks so scared. I... Let's go, everyone. Please. Uh, sure, Mira. Hmm. I'll go to the left first. Because I always go to the right. Oh! Th that's... That's... That's my room. Oh, can we find her diary? Some flowers. I'm trying to grow them out. They haven't died yet. Even though I haven't been here for months now. I suppose there's something I can thank the king for. A bed. Is that your bed? Yes. Um, what gave it away? It smells fruity, just like your name. Mirabelle Plums! <laughs> My roommate gifted me some Mirabelle Plum scented soap a while back. She may never clean her room and she may keep me from sleeping by muttering formulas to herself in the middle of the night. But she does give great gifts. Mirabelle's dresser. Don't even think about it, Sifrin. Dang it. It'd be rude to look inside so you don't. Horror books. There's the Cursing at Chateau Castle, issue number 68. Death Dice Bird. Death Die Dice Maker. 100 Ways to Die Horribly. The Meat Slicing. Ah. That last one's actually a cooking book. A lot of horror books in there. Is this one about a group of young adults being forced to kill each other for someone's entertainment? It is! Huh. We should have a book club sometime, just the two of us. We should! We should. We should! We could exchange letters and recommendations after we beat the king! Surely we will! What? Just you two? The rest of us aren't invited. No. Girls only. Yeah, back off, Isabel. Being told to back off by Mirabelle herself? I feel blessed somehow. The closet has a lot of different dresses that look similar to Mirabelle's. Is it her closet? Uh, caught rolled papers. It's a barrel. It's full of various nuts. It's a barrel. It's full of various nuts. It's a barrel. It's full of water. It's a barrel. It's full of nothing. A bed. That's my roommate's bed. Do you think she's okay? What is she like, this roommate of yours? She's the worst. I don't really like her. Oh. I didn't know Belle could hate people. She doesn't clean her side of the room ever, and she leaves her experiments and weird potions around everywhere, and she always sings way too loud. And when I ask her to make change songs and sing something I might like, she always tells me no can do, princess. She's mean and has no respect towards others. Whoa. Mirabelle on her villain arm? So, a normal roommate. Maybe, but even so, not seeing her around, it really worries me. Positive. Gotta stay positive. 
Papers filled with complicated equations. Some vials. One of them is broken, but the other seems intact. Let's see. You got one pepper juice. You got one thyme juice. You got one ginger juice. You give them the body for safekeeping. I think they're barrels. Well, sometimes you gotta check. The game said check everything. What if it's like a secret brooch or something? And then we're gonna be like, dang nabbit. A closet filled with unsafe looking potions. Drugs? Hmm. Was your roommate making babams? Because with all the materials she has in here, it looks like she was learning how to make craft babams. What? No. Was she? <laughs> I'm just saying. She has the materials to make a craft babam. Looks like she didn't finish it though. If that makes you feel better. How? Do you know how to make a craft bomb? Uh, I, I learned it while I was studying to become a defender. But isn't that just common knowledge? I've never learned that. I've never learned how to make it. I know I'm a kid and you think I definitely know how to make bombs. But I've never learned either. Oh. What else does it need then? Um, why? Zah. We have to throw a, a baba at the king. It'd be so funny. Uh, what? Yes. It would be funny. It would. What else do we need? Uh, your roommate has some stuff already, so we just need... Isabel starts explaining what you need with very confusing words. What? Use simpler words, uh... Um... There's already a short gizmo gadget here. So we just need a long thingy thing and a secret ingredient. Oh, okay. Makes sense. It doesn't. Time to find those things! You got the short gizmo gadget. You put the short gizmo gadget in your pocket along with your souvenirs. So we need the secret ingredient, agree, <laughs> secret ingredient and a long stick thing. someone frozen in time. Oh, that's... I... I don't know who that is, actually. They have a cool necklace, though. Well, let me see. Oh, I know them. That's another housemaiden. I haven't seen them in a while. I didn't know they were changing. Come to think of it, I hadn't seen them for a little bit before the king. Maybe they were close to done crafting their body. If we could beat the king and we'd see them and meet them again. Yes. Some frozen flowers. They smell like flowers. An empty, clean bed. There's something on it. It's an animal, but not real. It's made out of fabric and other things. It's usually for kids. Those things have a name. It's a... Uh... It's a stuffed animal, dummy! Oh. Guys! Fred forgot an easy word again. Sifrin? Sif. We really have to do something about this, Sifrin. Did you really forget a basic word like stuffed animal? Hey, some of the things you don't remember the words for aren't basic. I use my brain for other things, you know? Things other than remembering the word stuffed animal. What do you use the space in your brain for, anyway? Puns? Oh. As a matter of fact, yes. Well, that's fine, but... My brain is just... stuffed with puns. Crab! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Got him. Voice acting is on- Oh, I thought you said on point. It's killer? Thank you. I like doing games like this. I like doing little voices. But thank you. I try. You know, I watched a lot of Jacksepticeye growing up. Oh, gone. It does really piss me off. As a viewer, whenever somebody plays a game like this and they don't read all the dialogue, it fucking pisses me off. <laughs> That's why, like, I will read most every little tidbit. 
Or like when they like spam through dialogue when it's like the first time reading the dialogue, it annoys me so much. Cause like I understand like not everybody's sitting down and watching. A lot of people like just listen. Okay, I'm locked in. Candles. Palm de granite. <laughs> Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Pa. Ma. Gran. Nut. Pa. Ma. Gran. Nut. Yeah. You did it. Everyone claps proudly. <laughs> Dude, how old is Bonnie? We can't be patronizing them so much. Some vials. Let's see. You got one pepper juice, one thyme juice, and one ginger juice. You give them to Bonnie for safekeeping. The bookcase is filled with books about body craft. Interesting. Can you tell me more about this? Oh, well... Hey! Hey, Dial? Don't you already know all this stuff? Huh? What do you mean? Um, you're always asking questions about the guard and change and stuff. But don't you already know about it? Huh. You never thought about it. Yeah, I was wondering about this too. You're always asking questions, which is fun. But I can't believe you go to another country and not learn all about it beforehand. If only because it'd make you look stupid. Caught. How insightful, you two. What? Do you already know about the things you ask about? Huh. I do know some of the things I ask about. But I also believe there's a difference between knowledge learned in books and knowledge learned by talking to people. Knowledge is more important, but the meaning behind it, the emotional piece, that's important too. Books don't tell me anything about how it feels to be surrounded by a Vagardian culture, to be bathed in it. But the three of you do, and you clearly love your country, love the change, believe, and it's making me like it too, I suppose. Oh. Aw. Madame Odile. I don't get it. Yeah, because you're a child. Huh. It's okay. You don't need to understand. I just want to- I just want to know all I can about the Guardian culture, that's all. Wait, that's so real. You can't live your life just reading textbooks. You gotta go live life, guys. A statue of the change god. It's been destroyed. Pictures of different people. Some of them are covered in bandages, but they're all smiling. weird a book detailing how to craft your body wow this book looks simpler than the one i've studied apparently they made some big strides in body craft recently before it took close to a year to make big changes but now you can change in a month or so it's interesting crafting your body is so accepted here in vagard in kabu using craft on yourself would be grounds for prison prison but why because if you craft your body to your liking, where's the limit? Take the king, for example. They say he crafted his body to become so massive, he can destroy houses in a single gesture. And that's without mentioning his mastery of the time craft, too. But that's... I'm not saying Kabu is correct. I'm just telling you their point of view. Plus, it's not like there aren't ways to body craft in Kabu if you know where to look. Oh my, Madame Odile. Were you part of the underground resistance? I'll never tell. Resistance? Ology. Wait, based. You know what else is based? Follow the channel, because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you never click follow, you get clue modes and you get to have a chat. Isn't that pretty cool? If you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on, that we don't miss a single stream. Dude, I really need new fucking glasses. But I, I love these frames. I don't want to get new frames. Because my opto uh, optometrist discontinued these frames, so I can't, like, buy the same one. I know they have similar ones, but the other ones have, like, the little silver gems right here on the end of the horn rooms, and I think it's ugly.
I'm touching the sparkly thing last. I'm stalling. Candles. Lavender! Paper and a pen. Looks like someone was in the middle of writing down their change. You and Oda look closer. Huh? Hey, don't look, it's private. Just because everyone's frozen doesn't mean we should look at everything, you know? Oh. I wasn't aware, my apologies. He's right. You look away. Nah, it's fine. You two didn't know. But still, this brings back memories. I would love to craft my body more. I'd love to be two centimeters taller. Why just two centimeters? Aren't you tall enough already? I think you're too tall and you should cut it out. Uh, cut what out? Anyway, Mira, you don't understand. With two more centimeters, I'll pass the threshold. With two more centimeters, I'll finally be tall with a capital T. <laughs> I support you in your tall dreams. What a simple reason. Crafting your body, huh? And you know, instead of crafting your body itself, maybe there was an easier way to gain height. Oh? Like what? You could wear high heels. Wait, that's so real. High heels hurt my feet. Ah, uh, you can drink lots of milk. Milk makes me sick sometimes. You could tie your hands to a pillar and tug you on your feet really hard. Ha, <laughs> worth a try. Anyone have rope? I'm sorry I brought us to this point. Let's stay focused, please. Some vials. Let's see. You got two salty bras, so you give them the body for safekeeping. The closet is filled with many different types of clothes. Oh, look at this shirt. It has the same material as your cloak, right, Sif? This also looks incredibly warm. I still don't know how you managed to wear your cloak this whole summer. You've had this cloak for a while. I never really get hot with it, though. Really? Sif, can I look at your cloak for a sec? You nod. Taking care not to touch you, Isabel kneels and takes a hold of your cloak. Ah, your cloak's been sewn with some kind of temperature regulation spell crafted into the stitching. That's kind of cool. No wonder you always look comfortable no matter the weather. Huh? What? Isn't that really, really advanced crafting? Ah, uh, it's also been crafted to make the cloak grow with you. It must have been incredibly expensive, unless it was handmade. How long have you had this? You try to remember. Nothing comes to mind. You shrug. Um, I'm really jealous. Sorry. Yeah, if you ever sold this, you'd be set for a few months, if not a whole year, you know? The craftsmanship alone. Crafting stuff isn't... The craftsmanship alone. Crafting stuff into the stitching is really interesting, actually. Hmm. Huh. Spoken like a true clothing designer, huh? <laughs> well. Did I tell you about that? Huh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Yeah, we didn't talk to him about it in this timeline. Oops. I quick say something. Uh, I, just because your clothes are so cool. <laughs> ah, thanks. Oh, awkward. They're gonna know that I'm time skipping. A closet. You open it. You found the angry key. You put the angry key in your pocket. You now know the, where the angry key is located. The keychain dangling from it is shaped like an angry mask. There's a different face than the key you've gotten before. Why are the faces different? Does it mean something? Oh, uh, what's this about? Oh, every keychain will probably have a different mask. Huh. So every mask will have a different emotion. Is this what it's trying to represent? Oh, uh, I know this one. That's the change god. No matter what emotion it has, if it has a mask, that's the change god. The change god always has a mask and never has the same expression. Or art style for that matter. It's to show the change god is ever changing, but also to show us that emotions are fleeting. No matter how wonderful or awful you're feeling, this feeling will fade in time. Guys, that's a really good screenshot for that later. Why do good emotions have to fade too? Why can't we keep being happy forever? Because that'd be boring. Can you imagine? It'd be like, hmm. Like being forced to eat your favorite food forever. I would like that though. Are you sure? Really imagine it. Eating only your favorite food all the time? Can I stop eating when I'm full? Nope. Can't do anything except eat. 
I can't go to the bathroom? Nope. That would suck. Indeed. Just take feeling terrible forever. Indeed. Just like feeling terrible forever would suck too. And some of those feelings might stay for a while, make their home here, but knowing they'll eventually go away, isn't that a relief? Wait, that's so real. There's gotta be some type of charm somewhere. Oh, the tear evaporating charm is probably behind the door that has the angry mask. Oh. Another door. A hole in the wall. The hole doesn't really bring you anywhere. The gate is locked. It's locked by one of those weird word locks. There's something written about the lock, too. Maybe you should take a closer look. Try to read what's written. You cannot read what is written about the lock. Just trying to read this makes my head hurt. Look at it curiously. You look at it. Isabel sees you look. Have you never seen a lock like this before, Sif? Okay, I know that it needs words. I, I know this. You don't gotta tell me every time. The door has a sentence written about the lock, but you can't read it. Such an imposing door, though. I don't remember ever seeing it before. Hmm. There's some text written about the door, though. Look. It says... Youch. Youch. No, no, it's just... My head hurts. <laughs> okay, classic. I'm gonna say change. You say the word change aloud. Nothing happens. Worth a try. Dang it. I hate these secret doors. It's probably for, like, better weapons or something. Okay, let's make our way back. I'm gonna dip and dodge. Dang it! I tried. You haven't seen this enemy yet. We got a hair is in my eye. I'm good. Breathe in and out. Pavager 50 XP received. Sifrin is now level 53. Okay, we continue on back. You're probably gonna have to choose different pads.
Easy. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. And we're in. Key time. You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Weird smelly one! What? Free crest sadness. Let's go. It's so cute. We're no longer scared to battle now. We've grown so much. They resisted, that means it's a rock type. Paper of the And paper combo incoming. Easy. You breathe in and out. I think that was the cleanest fight I had. 1,100 XP received. Isabel is now level 52. Odal is now level 52. You got a star crest. You put the star crest in your pocket. Woohoo! Alright, Boniface. What do you mean by weird smelly? Those sadnesses all smell really sugary. That's it? Is it like we eat sweet things when we're sad so we get dopamine? A hole in the wall. The hole doesn't really bring you anywhere. Boniface, what about this wall? What does it smell like? Like a crabbing wall! That sure is a broken pillar. It's a broken pillar. Okay, well, there were three different pads with the tears, so that means we're gonna have to reset multiple times. Oh, of course it's this guy. It's not feet, it's their hands! Get your mind out of the gutter, it's obviously hands!
Wombo combo. restored health. Oh wait, is the A symbol an alpha symbol? I don't know, I don't know Latin. You're so alpha, thank you. Then why don't I have a Gia? Breathe in and out. 1,000 XP received. Get ready to save, and then we'll go for one of the tier pads. I do feel like the right path is the incorrect path because people are going to go straight for the right. So I'm going to do that first. After this fight. in stars in time watch till the end to find out wait it's dead it should be dead i don't know the little star grill calls a stardust you breathe in and out 550 xp received The tear floats gently. You have a star crest, so use it? Yes. You use the star crest. Well, let's see where this takes us. Whoa. -oh. Wrong way, Stardust. That's okay. I wanted to go the wrong way. Hi Marceline, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. It should be in stars and in Isabel. <laughs> I'm deleting that. <laughs> I'm locked in. A note for a festival that was supposed to take place. Today. Ooh, awkward. My chats have like a 30% delete rate. Well, it's fine because they're like funny. Maybe it's... It's di- Okay. I, I'm fine with like some jokes like kind of skirting a line. I just don't like when jokes are made about me. That's like my like hard line. But like you're trying to be funny and it, I think it's funny. I'm gonna be in and out. I appreciate that, Marceline. You should put my stream on the work TV. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Don't. I swear too much. 
It's okay if it's funny. Yeah, save that quote for later. <laughs> funny privilege? Yeah, you got white privilege and funny privilege. Some vials. Let's see. You got two salty bras. You give them the bonnie for safekeeping. Some books, all lined up. There's a space in between two books, like someone removed it. Ah, uh, Bonnie seems to be reading it intently. It is a very striking cover of a Moodoo clay figurine with large sunken eyes and a screaming mouth. You can't read the title. You're curious. Well, what do you have here? Bonnie hides the book in their pocket. Uh, nothing! It's nothing! Nothing at all! Sure. Okay. Shut up! It's fine! I'm fine! Stop looking at- stop looking at me! Shut up! Here, take this book instead! Bonnie shoves a book at you. Sneezing? How to expose bad thoughts. Wow. <laughs> no, sneezing is good because it's getting the germs out, but like, don't sneeze on other people. You know, I think the wildest thing somebody told me is like they sometimes watch the stream in like their home living room TV. I think Kim said that and then Electra said that at some point. Like <laughs> not saying that I'm not like fr family friendly, it's just hilarious. Cuz like I know I put streamers on the TV downstairs in our living room. Like I'm just honored. You know, guys, I do need more viewers. Can you guys go to, like, your local, like, Best Buy and put my stream on every computer? Thank you. You find an anthology of horror stories. On the cover, a handsome young man looks into the night fearfully but longingly. Oh, Mira! Looks like the kind of books you like, yeah? Horror books! This one looks massive. What's this one called? That's the handsome young men falling into beautifully heartbreaking madness horror anthology! Whoa. Mirabelle's yelling made you jump. Did... Did someone in the house have it all this time? Did someone keep it from you? What is it anyway? It's a full anthology all about pure-hearted boys being subjected to awful monsters and horror situations. Seeing them screaming in fright? Oh my god. Um... I cannot help but root for them. And at the same time be happy I'm not in their situation. There is something lovely and touching about these tales. Something wonderfully hopeful. I cannot help but read them and pray for their survival. So... So do they just usually survive? Or do the monsters catch them? Well... 50-50? What? But, but also, the catharsis that fills me a whole being when they get caught... There's... <laughs> She's a freak, I'm sorry. <laughs> but also... The catharsis that fills my whole body when they get caught? There's something very wonderful about that, too! The Scott and Fraud? The Scott and Frode! I don't know how to say that. Cat Fart Sis. Scad and Fruber. And don't worry about it, Bonbon. Bon. I, too, am also lost. It's just... It's very good. Very moving. Makes me feel like I went on a run. And also, sometimes the heroes up and... I got scared when I saw the first half of that word. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'll be honest. And also, sometimes the heroes end up bonding up with the monsters, too. What? Oh, romance. I understand the romance part now. Books about terrible things happening to good people, huh? When we finally get our book going, I would love to know if you have more books like this one. Boy, do I! You laugh quietly. You hope they get, you hope they get to have their book club soon. A stool. But there's only one, so it'd be rude to sit down. There's a note with the word, open phrase, one, two, three. Ri <gasps> oh my god! Open on it. Written on it. You look at it a little closer. Is that an open phrase for something? That sounds very safe and not at all stupid. Huh. Ooh. There's a bunch of unfinished poems on the desk. Isabel slaps his hand on one of them. Mira! Yes, yes, I'm reading. Oranges are nice. Oranges are soft. 
oranges are frail. When you look at me, I feel like one. Your fingernail digs into my cheek. Peel an orange open. The poem ends here. Is this a clue? No, it's just someone's unfinished poem. Let's finish it for them. Do we have time? Do we really have time to do this right now? Peel an orange open. Orange juice comes out. Ah, uh, gems. Um, peel an orange open. The person who wrote this is an orange, right? That seems to be one interpretation, yes. Okay, so... I die. <laughs> hmm. Very literal. Very nice. Blood oranges? Something with that? Something bloody but poetic. I haven't heard a single good idea yet. Madame, do you have something then? No. Yeah, yeah. Leave enough, leaving us young people to do the job. I get it. Sif, your turn. Peel an orange open. Okay, I'm gonna do this seriously. I'm not gonna make a joke. Is it nice and sweet? Ah, a question ending. In poetry, they call that a cliffhanger. No, they don't. Some papers. You pick one at random. It's a poem about a fox and a crow. Okay, so we did get an open source word. I like Bonnie's ending to the poem. I die! <laughs> it's like too on the nose though, you know? I don't think that's like good poetry. Oh, caught. But it has so many meanings. I'm sorry, but like, ending the poem with then I die is like literally the most straightforward thing you can say. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just the hard, honest truth. Paper Alpha 5. I do think that is the alpha symbol. <laughs> you breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Mirabelle is now level 51. I love straightforward poems. Did any of you guys go to art school? I don't think so. I went to art school, so like I know what's good or not. I'm gonna try and go for the door. And then we'll reset. Ooh! Ooh! Ah! I went to culinary school and I wrote poems for some reason. I have like a joke that's a diss, and I'll only say it if you can handle it. But you have to promise to not get mad. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. My controller glitched. I dip and I dodge. Go for it. Wait, I'm locking in! Fuck! <laughs> okay, sorry. I was gonna say, 
you know, an art degree is just about as useless as a culinary school degree. That was the premise. I literally forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> that was it. I was gonna say, oh, I paid to write poems, but you wrote it for free. It was a diss for me, honestly, now that I think about it. <laughs> I'm running an ad. Guys, we're two hours in the stream. So it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $5.99 to $6. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. You know, I've had a few chatters tell me that I should try stand up. I think it would be fun, but I'm. I think I would only do stand up if I like. This is my little eyeglass pad. I forgot, I was fiddling. I'm, I think I'm good at times with improv, but I would do so much better with like a scripted set. Both degrees are kind of useless, yeah I know. But at least, at least with culinary school you get like certification. And certification I think... Because you learn like a set list of skills. Versus a degree where even like different degrees under the same like type of degree can take different classes so i think certification is better but i believe almost degrees uses yeah you need like nepotism like it depends on who you know and then also like you need to be like a good person in the sense of like you need to know how to riz Offensive for this for this battle. A lot of those skills you learn are lame and you don't and don't get you anywhere. Now I've seen like the okay, the only thing I know about culinary school is that you have to learn how to like Wait, okay, I need to lock in. You need to learn how to cut veggies a certain way, certain techniques and shit. But it's like, you can learn that on your own. And I hate seeing videos of people like cutting carrots to get the perfect cubes, and then they discard the scraps. It makes me so upset, like growing up poor, I'm like, you're supposed to eat the scraps. I do feel like bartending would be kind of fun, but I would be too scared. Wait, now- oh my god, I just realized I've never been to a bar my entire life. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I a loser? Okay, there's no way I'm getting another combo, so I'm just gonna do paper alpha V. Classic Bonnie. Thank you, Bonnie. Actually, doing something good for once. No way! Bonnie did a thousand damage only! You breathe in and out. 1000 XP received. <laughs> I 
You learn a lot of fun stuff, but if you actually use it in the kitchen, no one will respect you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Whoa. Now I know. Okay, so I'm back at the door. Let's see if I know the word now. Say open phrase one, two, three. You say the sentence open phrase one, two, three aloud. Nothing happens. Worth a try. Okay, so that means it's for one of the previous doors. So when I reset, I can try the other doors. But in order for me to get to the previous floors, I would need to like reset entirely. So I'll wait to the very, very end of the game. Well, I wanted to touch the tier. Oh wait, I should save before I die, actually. That way I remember the phrase. Breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Okay, so I'll go down this path next. Paper, so I wanted his attack to go up anyway. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. I'm gonna save and then we'll reset. This was a good run. The tear floats gently. Touch it. Yep, time to reset. You reach out to the tear. A tear froze you in time. Start again. Move back to floor three. Yes. Loop number five. You wake up. You dreamt you were eating a samosa as big as your head. You're hungry. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Wait. Do you hear that? Okay, so I'm going to have to do all of this again. Ooh, I actually dodged. 
clean. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. I don't think there was anything here. Yeah, I do have to do it all again. I was trying to see if I had the pendant in my inventory, but no. Dang. I forgot I do have to go to the right first. God damn it. Back and forth, back and forth. At least there's no, like, exploding enemy. Because that was the most annoying, because then everybody would lose help. Breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Sifrin is now level 54. I think the key was down here. Or maybe it was only a secret. I can't remember. Hi, Kim. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Old Dial is now level 53. And learn the craft skill Craft Buff. Nice. 
But I'll just learn a new skill. Huh. I finally figured it out. You got the memory of Craft Buff. You'll always remember this. When equipped, your researcher will be able to use Craft Buff as a skill, even if she is not level 53. Craft Buff is a skill that strengthens one ally's resistance to a craft type for a few turns. I can only see myself using that in like a major boss fight, otherwise I don't think I would use it. Oh, what? You know, nothing in this room besides vials. The enemy doesn't have a health bar, I just noticed. Well, I wasn't paying attention to who was who. Examine? What a mess. I can't tell which is which. I can't tell when they'll attack either! Or how much health they got left. So annoying. Alright everyone, let's untangle this one. With extreme prejudice, madame! How else? You can't see its health or when it'll attack. But you can see them. You just need to aim. Okay. Oh wait, it lines up. I thought the hand wouldn't correlate with the head. That makes it easier now. Easy. You breathe in and out. 650 XP received. Isabeau is now level 53. So as long as you spawn at the higher save point, it saves their level. That's why when I spawned at the very, very beginning, everybody was back to like level 49. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received.
You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Hi, Electra. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Yeah, I need to build up the scissor combo here. Now I feel like I know how to play the game. You know, I can just go melee. Bonnie's getting so strong. You breathe in and out. 1000 XP received. Mirabelle is now level 52 and learned the craft skill Mega Sparkle Heal. Mirabelle just learned a new skill. Oh, thing change! I'll be able to help out more! You got the memory of Mega Sparkle Heal. You'll always remember this. When equipped, your housemate will be able to use Mega Sparkle Heal as a skill. Even if she is not level 52. Mega Sparkle Heal is a skill that heals all- <gasps> All allies, finally! For 80% of their HP. This is also the last skill your housemaiden will be able to learn by leveling up. Don't push her too hard, Stardust. That is huge, actually. I've been wanting that for forever. Okay, everybody's max HP. We're going to the fight to get the key. Then we're going to go to the left and get the other part of the key. Oh, wait. It's the mirror. I wonder if I still have the picture. Oh. You lose your souvenirs when you die, but you keep the souvenirs you... You got when you teleport to the level, I think. Oh. So I guess on your final, final attempt, you should play through the whole game again. You and the picture are finally reunited. Oh, that is the key! Okay, I gotta get it anyway. I forgot.
breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Tartar sauce. Actually, do the status attack there? Yeah, it did lower their attack. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Nice. You breathe in and out. 650 XP received. This was the pottery room. I'll go in here to make the monster despawn. Yeah, Key was in the room up top top. He found the angry Key. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. I think the reason why the combat is easier in this game is because lore-wise, it seems that our party has been traveling together for a while. So it kind of makes sense they're all working together and we are pretty successful as a team already. 
I don't know. It's, it seems canon. Just finished putting down the fried chicken and I'm not happy about it. Wait, are you vegan? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Now, if you're allowed to answer this, how long can food be on the hotline for? Like, the fried chicken that's in the warmer? Because I think it's four hours. Because when I worked at Subway, anything kept in a hot well could not be kept out for more than four hours, even if it was at 10. But we only had, like, soups and then the meatballs. But you know they did not swap them out every four hours. Oh, you had to do it because some other bozo didn't do it? I'll say it, fuck them. I hate when people can, like, not do a good job and then other people have to pick up the slack. That was the thing I hated the most about, like, any type of entry-level work. Like, yeah, you should, like, pay your- what you're being- you should work what you're being paid for, but it's still, like... Don't make your job harder for other people at, at work, you know what I mean? Oh no, I can't talk. <laughs> I'm locking in. <laughs> I don't remember what this type was. It's rock. No! What the what the That was a misclick? Easy. You breathe in and out. 1100 XP received. You got the Star Crest. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and save and choose which path to go down. After this fight, of course. You breathe in and out. 650 XP received. dodge but it's not working Thank you. 
you breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Odell is now level 54. Okay. I need to decide if I want to go in the upper path or the left downward path first. I think the left path is going to be story. And I think this path is going to be secret because this is by another classroom already. So I'm going to try this path first. And if it is the correct path, we'll just go back again. The chair floats gently. You have a star crest, so use it. Yes. Use the star crest. Dang it, this was the correct path. Wow. Oh. Whoa! Where are we? There's a big window over there, see? What? Was there a room like this in the house? Yeah, I remember. Someone was working here, studying. They looked like... Um, sorry, I can't remember. Good news. There's no key or knife in here, Stardust. Wait, why is that good news? Wait, this was the wrong path. Yes! Okay, good. Cool. Lots of things to explore, though. Rolled up paper. You unroll one. It's a star chart. Rolled up paper. You unroll one. It's a star chart. A chair. You wish you could sit down. You know, I have my own free will. If you really want to, you can. A pile of papers. Something is written on them. Looks like a child tried to write down their first word. That sure is some awful handwriting. And a determined child. Looks like they tried to write down the same word on all these papers. A pile of papers. Something is written on them. There's a book in Kabu and open on the table. You look at Oda. A Kabu and book here in Vagard. How rare. The title translates to Colors Through Time. It seems to be an essay about color theory. A <laughs> color theory? What's a color? We don't have time for this. Oh, so the whole world is in monochrome. Yeah, you don't really care. Huh. Some books. Just looking at them gives you a headache. A star chart. What's this drawing for? This looks pretty good. Not really. It's just dots on lattish paper. I could do that. The dots on the map look like the sky we can see through the window. Could it be some kind of drawing of the stars? A map of the stars? But what for? You gently touch the map. For some reason, you can feel yourself frowning. Am I an I still think I'm an alien. A world globe. We are here! Isabel points to where you are, on the lower half of the globe. Vagard, the land of change. Kabu is here. Well, that points to a big country, far from Vagard. Kabu, a country you visited at least once. And Bambach is here! Bonnie points to a spot almost on the edge of Vagard. You spin the globe and jab your finger on a random spot. Oh, is that... is that where you're from, Sif? You smell mysteriously. What does that smell mean? You laugh. I'm from space. POV walks up with a hundred star charts. We're gonna do thieving and criming. It seems like Sifra, like resents space though. They did not like this big star chart. A pillar. A telescope. It's dusty. What's that? Oh, I've seen one of these before. That's a telescope. I think you watch the sky with it. Like clouds? Like stars, I think. During the night, since they're not here during the day. Stars? Boring. Real. A pillar. 
a big window. Those are stars, right? I remember just now. But don't they only appear at night? We left early in the morning, so it should still be light outside. I've heard it's always nighttime near the king. Maybe this is just his influence. It was darker around the house yesterday, too, remember? Huh. You can see stars, but find no meaning. That's so deep. Okay, well, this was the incorrect path. Sad. So let's go back, save, and try again. I am really glad that I found the two incorrect paths. That way I don't have to do it four times versus three. That was so clean. tried. The tear floats gently. Touch it? Yes. You reach out to the tear? You had a good sleep. The dialogue is different. Start again. Looping back to floor three. Loop six. You wake up. You dreamt you fell right through some stairs. Scary. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. King got stuck in the castle and it's his, it's his hair that's trapped and that's why he's crying. That's my game theory. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received.
nobody's low on health. Breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Sifrin is now level 55. Isabeau is now level 54 and learned the craft skill not over yet. Isabeau just learned a new skill. <laughs> I've gotten stronger. You got the memory of not over yet. You'll always remember this. When equipped, your fighter will be able to use not over yet as a skill even if he isn't at level 54. Not over yet is a skill that lowers all of an ally's craft skill cooldowns by four. This is also the last skill your fighter will be able to learn by leveling up. Don't push him too hard, Stardust. Galeen! Not so clean. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Floor 3 seems easier than Floor 2 so far. But now that I kind of know what to expect it, I think that's why it feels easier. <laughs> Easy. You breathe in and out. 1000 XP received. Thank you. 
since this is probably the final attempt, I'm gonna go back and get all the healing items. But yeah, this was the secret door. I don't remember if there's something in the closet or not. There is, okay, cool. Good thing I checked. Lucky. I'm gonna get the violet in the bottommost room and then I'll work my way to get the star crest. Incoming. That's not fair at all. You breathe in and out. 1000 XP received. Mirabelle is now level 53.
So the enemy didn't heal him, it actually attacked. He usually heals in the second cycle. You breathe in and out. 1000 XP received. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Got one pepper juice. But oh, that was the eye patch closet. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. And you know what some of you guys will receive an ad, because I almost forgot. We are exactly three hours in a stream, so, we, so I have to run some ads. So if you want to avoid that ad, I gotta do is subscribe for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get out of reviewing on my blog. Subscribe now. You're boomed. Okay, not a good ad at <clears throat> Not a good ad transition. But I'm leveling, and I'm zoning out. One of the reviews that I did see about this game is that the looping did get annoying in, like, late game, so I'm like, oh no. <laughs> like, what do I have to look forward to? Breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Like, it's good that at least, like, you keep some of your items in some of your levels. I kick my desk.
Good body, get in. You breathe in and out. 1000 XP received. I believe this enemy was wrong. Go faster. Yep, it was rock. You breathe in and out. 1,100 XP received. Odell is now level 55 and learn the craft skill Craft Break. Odell just learned a new skill. Huh. I finally figured it out. You got the memory of Craft Break. You'll always remember this. When equipped, your researcher will be able to use Craft Break as a skill, even if she isn't at level 55. Craft Break is a skill that makes an enemy weaker to a crafts type attack for a few turns. There is also this is also the last skill your researcher will be able to learn by leveling up. Don't push her too hard, Stardust. You got a Star Crest. You put the Star Crest in your pocket. Nice. Now we can finally go down the intended path. Dude, I just want to save, please. One more fight. Damn, they're out already! You breathe in and out. 650 XP received. Isabeau is now level 55.
Nice. You breathe in and out. 650 XP received. Sifrin is now level 56 and learned the craft skill in a while. Rockadile. Oh, there's no dialogue. I just, I just know it. Now for the intended. Ah, let's fight him. It's fine. Keep stalling. I think it's funny that Bonnie misses on like literally the largest enemy in the game so far. There we go, finally she gets a hidden. You breathe in and out. 1000 XP received. Now it's time for the intended teardrop pad. The tear floats gently. You have a star crest, so use it? Yes. You use the star crest. Let's see what lies ahead. I'm gonna touch the pillars first because I'm scared. That sure is a pillar. It's a broken pillar. It's a broken pillar. That sure is a broken pillar. Just had to be safe. Someone frozen in time. Oh! Mira? That's one of my friends. He pushed me away so the curse wouldn't get me. And it hit him instead. He saved me. Isabel hugs Mirabelle to his side. Let's keep going, yeah? Mm-hmm. Damn. What? The door is locked. The symbol over the keyhole is shaped like a crying mask. Huh. We don't have a key for this one yet, do we? There's a piece of paper stuck to the door. We closed as many doors as we could, but if somehow you need the key to this one, I hid the key in room 403 in little Mark's notebook. Room 403. Rooms have numbers now. The classrooms do. We've only seen a couple, but the house is way more. Room 403, though. I'm pretty sure we've at least passed it. It's where... Oh! Huh? It it's, um... It's currently on the second floor. The second floor? But we can't go to previous floors, can we? The big doors close behind us, don't they? Well, that's not good. 
but you're here. The classroom on the second floor, though. That's such a long way back. Better get going. Come on! So that means... Okay, so I basically have to do all of floor three again. And all of floor two again. Oh my god. Okay. Let's go save. Room four or three little marks notebook. That's so annoying. This is actually frustrating now. I have to go back to a previous stage? That means I'm gonna lose all the levels and items that I got in stage three. Breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Yeah, I can't go back. Okay. Time to reset again. The tear floats gently. Touch it? Yeah, begrudgingly. You reach out to the tear. My friends probably, like, freak out every time they see me, like, voluntarily touch it. A tear froze you in time. Start again. Wait, what does Y do? I forgot. Oh yeah, it remembers the key, right? Oh, use five members to live forward to floor two with all doors opened? Wait, that's kind of crazy. I forgot about that mechanic, but either way, I don't have it for floor three. You wake up. You dreamt you were eating a samosa as big as your head. You're hungry. Okay, so I gotta find 403. Yeah, everybody's down level. <laughs> that's fine. That's okay. As long as we don't get the exploding guys. You breathe in and out. 
200 XP received. It's right here. Thank goodness. A desk. On it is a notebook titled Mark Super Awesome Great Amazing Super Duper Cool Notebook. Do not touch. Out of disrespect, you open the Super Duper Cool Notebook wide. Oh yeah, we didn't open it because we were nice. Oh, thank the stars it's here. He found the crying key. The keychain dangling from it is shaped like a crying mask. A key here? A mask, huh? This feels out of place. I was expecting a keychain shaped like a scissors or something. You put the key in your pocket. You now know where the crying key is located. Sif. Looking at the key in your hand is making you realize. The trap at the entrance, the key in the admin room. This key that you had to backtrack for. You're not very good at your job, are you? It's your job to look for traps. Your job to see hidden things. And you failed at those multiple times. If you weren't looping, there's no way you would have been able to get this far. You'd have died for good right away, and, poss and possibly brought everyone down with you. You can't help but sigh. Someone pokes your hip gently. Hey! Have a peach! Peach time? You take the peach and silently nibble on it. You were silent for too long and made the mood awkward. Uh, say something. Um, thank you, Bonnie. It's fi- You're a peach. Oh, okay, no. Ew. <laughs> I feel peachy again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know- I don't know why I even worry about you sometimes. What? Anyway, key. Better get back to floor three. You can walk around and get some experience, or you can just find a tier somewhere and loop forward. Hmm, I probably should level, but I kind of just want to reset. <laughs> but will I still have the key? But either way, if I loop forward... I would not have the doors unlocked at floor 3, so I might as well just go back manually. Oh yeah, there was a room that had the, the code word here. I'll look around to see if I can find the code room door. Might as well. Devil is paper type. Breathe in and out. 500 XP received. Oh yeah, because the... The secret word door was to the right, I remember because it, it had the up and down path with the tears at floor 2. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received.
You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Oh, it's cleared. The door is locked tight. Say open phrase one, two, three. You say the word open phrase one, two, three aloud. <gasps> the door unlocked! Oh, change! Was the open phrase for this door really just open phrase the one, two, three? That's so smart! It's not. Let's just go in. We're in. That sure is a broken pillar. Oh, there's two people here. There's a vial on the table. As the kids say, yoink. Odal got one sweet tonic. Odal gives it to Bonnie for safekeeping. A stool. Oh, there's multiple. We can take a seat now. A stool. There's some croissants on the table. <laughs> Want some, friend? You can feel your face scrunch in distaste. <laughs> but you liked them when we first met, didn't you? I feel like one day you did just a 180 and decided to hate them. What happened? Did you eat a bad croissant somehow? Did it have a hair in it? Did someone beat you up using a croissant as a weapon? Or... Did someone eat your croissant? Was it Isabeau? No. I try very hard not to eat Sif's food, so I wouldn't. You don't answer. Oh, crap, did I? No, just... I ate a burnt one once. And that was enough to swear off croissants forever? You nod. You know, I wouldn't burn a croissant. I'm good at baking. Yeah, you're really good, Bonbon. Bon. Good baker, Bonbon, bon, good baker. Isabel pats Bonnie's shoulder proudly. Hmm. It's a barrel. It's full of water. An empty dresser. There's something under it. As the adults say, I'm gonna take this. Bonnie got two salty bronze. Bonnie puts the vials in their pockets. A pillar. A vial, but it's broken. The pieces of glass catch the light, making them almost sparkle. Shiny, but sharp. You leave the pretty glass alone. It's a barrel. It's full of various nuts. A statue of the change god. It's been destroyed. That's great, Marceline. Now get back to work. <laughs> the lunch rush is over, but get ready for dinner now. I'm locked in. Someone frozen in time. That's another student. We took a grape stomping class together a few years ago. Sorry, a what? A grape stomping class so you can make wine, madame. Oh. The door was locked, wasn't it? They must have thought it would protect them from the king. But sadly, the king's curse doesn't care about locks. Damn. Someone frozen in time. Oh, I don't know them personally, but I've seen them around. They... I... I don't know anything about them. Mira, I'm trying so hard to remember something, anything, about each person I see, but... There's so many people I know nothing about. They're not dead, you know? All we need to do is beat the king to break the curse. And you'll be able to get to know each of them as much as you want. Hmm. I think she has survivor's bias. Or survivor's guilt. Because she's the only one who escaped the house. You would not believe the lurk I just lurked. It's been hours. Aren't you supposed to be at work? Okay, well that was a cool little secret. Just lore. 
So I guess those doors will just have lore. I'm so glad I went back for it, though. Onwards to floor three. I have to do taxes? Wait, isn't it? Weren't they due a while ago? <laughs> no, I think when you fall late, you got like until October, right? resistant to paper, so that means it is a scissor type. Breathe in and out. 500 XP received. Sad. You know what else is sad? Launching a stream and not following. Because guys, we are another 30 minutes in. So if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. If you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. That way you don't miss future stream. Easy. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Okay, so it saves that key as well. Nice. Oh yeah, there's a fight. Probably why they wanted us to level first. So I should only really attack one. And since I have two, or I have. I'm gonna attack the paper one. Or no, it's a rock.
Yeah, I'm gonna... No. I have to talk to the paper, that way the paper ta eats the rock. Okay. Because the paper is only strong against bow. Doing this so I can quickly get a scissor combo. There we go. The shorted one is doing something. It should have KO'd though. I'm getting scammed. Oh crap. Oh, I can't escape. That was a misclick. I press B. used your turn, dang it. <laughs> so close. I'm late, I blame you for what? I did start at 10 today, I started early. If you follow my Twitter, I post like a minute before I go live. So you know, it's your fault. Hi Vic, can we get some yo's? Hello. But don't worry, you haven't missed much. The pa two of the, two out of the three hours I've been live have just been like, resetting and relooping. It's been annoying. <laughs> It is my fault. I visited a friend after work and forgot you were live. See? You're always protecting. Classic tier 2 behavior. <laughs> okay, watch this. Easy. You breathe in and out. 7,000 XP received. Sifrin is now level 57. Mirabella is now level 49. Isabel is now level 50. Odile is now level 50. We won! All right, one last floor to go. I can't save! Favorite stream right now? W. Thank you. I mean, just wait till you start watching Queso. <laughs> Who's my favorite? Uh, Ludwig is still my favorite. But I'm honored. Back here again. Bonnie forgot to tie their shoe.
Oh, I'm skipping this. Oopsie. Sorry if you want lore. I would like... I'll take pineapple. Because the star girl told me when I looped that first time, I was like, I'll talk to the star girl. Oh my god. Start again. Fuck! Do I keep my keys though? You're allergic to pineapples. Didn't Loop say you were allergic to pineapples? Yeah, I'm just now remembering. Loop was right. You're allergic. What? Loop was gonna have a field deal with this one. That pineapple is really good, though. to do all this again I'm like so pissed off right now because I know I remembered I was allergic to pineapples. I just, I just, fuck it. Oh, my camera's out. I'm fixing it. <laughs> my favorite streamer's always been peacing. You're lying. You literally said your favorite streamer is a uh, Mario Maker streamer. You're lying. Yeah, Son was my favorite streamer for a long, long time. Like, for like two years straight, almost. But... He's still top three. I think... My top three are Ludwig, Squeaks, Hassan. Okay, I'm fixing my camera. I'm fixing it. Dude, I'm so fucking mad. I'm really mad. Yeah, we're gonna all take damage here. This is why I hated floor two, because the exploding enemy. I actually watch his stream on Saturday. I'm sorry to say, I didn't say at the top of stream, but I'm hanging out with my sugar daddy on Saturday. I'm sorry. Also, Ludwig is doing a stream on Saturday, too. <laughs> Top three, you, Hassan, and Rainbowless, but I'm biased. They're She's my friend. <laughs> Wait. So you can't have any friends in your top three? Is that what you're saying? I might live here. Don't explode. Thank you. Oh, I could probably kill him. Oh, definitely we can get this guy in time. <laughs> stop, Ethan, stop. <laughs> <laughs> w, I actually got the bomb. 
You breathe in and out. Seven ex 700 XP received. Too big of a streamer? What? You were setting up the joke. You know what you were doing. I'm biased because I knew them before she started streaming. Oh. Okay, so I did lose the fucking key here. Sorry, I'm I'm still mad about this stupid pineapple thing. I know I was allergic. There was no option for me to open the book anyway when we were on floor two, so like this is like an unavoidable mission that we have to fucking do. I'm fine, I'm It's okay, it's just a video game. It's just a game. Is it bad that, like, I don't watch small streamers? Is that, like, bad? <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to give a way to word this without, be, like, being mean. It's because, like, me as a viewer, I don't need direct attention anymore. Like, I used to watch a lot of small streamers when I first started. Like, for like the year after I started streaming. But that's because, like, I liked talking to people. But now, I just like being part of a hive mind. Also, like, how do I say? A lot of small streamers' commentary isn't good. And I know, like, I fall in that boat sometimes too. Especially. Especially when they primarily do games like this, where it's not super commentary heavy. But... I don't know, I like hearing people talk. Small streamer communities are hit or miss. I think that's a better way to put it. Wait, I'm gonna start saying that. I'm gonna copy that. I think that's a very good way to put it. Because... With small streamers... The vibe is easily changed by, like, one chatter. One or two people. Right? And I, I feel like a lot of my chat has become kind of homogenous in how we joke and goof over the years. But it's very easy for things to, like, slide. Or, like, be very fluid in what is talked about in a smaller streamer chat. You breathe in and out 300 XP received. That's why you gotta play the Telltale games that way you can discuss the ethics behind your choices. I wanna play Telltale games on- No! Yeah, I'm unplugging the game too. I think that's fucking it up. I'm resetting everything, guys. Um... I've already seen so many people play through the Telltale games, like, I know what's gonna happen. You know what I mean? I'm already spoiled. And I think those games are best whenever they're, like, fully blind playthroughs. Big budget stream over here. I literally have only- You guys wanna know how much I made on Twitch? I'll tell you. Okay, I'm fixing everything. Oh my god, there's two of me. Oh, why'd it pull up the webcam? <laughs> Don't worry, I have tape there. <laughs> Wait, why isn't my capture card? There it is, it's showing up now. There it is, okay. There's games you haven't played? No, it's not that I haven't played them, it's just I've seen other people play them, so like, I know what happens. Uh, I think the only ones that I haven't seen... ...were, like, the later... No, I think I saw... Fuck, the Borderlands one? I don't remember. I've seen most of- Because, like, I watched a lot of, like, JSC, Markiplier, and stuff, and PewDiePie when I was younger, and they played through most of them. My eyes itchy me some. You guys want to know how much I made on Twitch over the past three years? Less than 3,000. I'm not going to say the exact amount, but it's between 2,500 and 3,000. I don't know how much I've made this year yet. But 2024 has been- Compared to, like, um, January to August of the previous two years, I've made less. In that same time period, the previous two years. Twitch needs to pay more. Uh, they need to have better ways to monetize. If they pushed VOD content, if they allowed, like, if they pushed people uploading content to Twitch, and not just live content, that way streamers and creators can get actual, like, CPM for VOD uploads, for upload uploads, because you guys might not know this. 
I can upload, like, full-length videos on Twitch. Like, because when you go to people's channel pages, they have, like, an upload section. Because I upload the best of comps every month, and those are the channel trailers. But you can literally upload, like, hour-long videos to Twitch. But Twitch doesn't push them. So, like, okay, we're back to the door. I'm not gonna eat pineapple this time! Anyway. So, like, if Twitch pushed video content more, like VOD, like YouTube does, that would be a whole nother ad revenue stream. Wait, I don't have the fucking keys?! What? Oh my god, I- I'm resetting, fuck this, I'm resetting. I forgot, when you reset... You're supposed to press Y to have the keys saved. Fuck! <laughs> Minus 20 minutes! You had a good sleep. Start again. I forgot. You're supposed to press Y to have the keys respawn. Oh! Use five sparkles? Yes. Loop number nine. Okay, that could have been avoided. You wake up. You dreamt about thousands of lights. It felt nostalgic. I'm locking in. Anyway, Twitch needs to create better revenue streams. I do- remember how- you, or YouTube still has- they have like the super chats where people can like type something and it pins at the top of chat. Like Twitch tried that? I don't get why they took it away. Now they have pinned bitch years, which I think is stupid. I like the pin chat. That was funny. <sighs> oh my god. I'm so annoyed right now. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I'm not crying. Anyway. I'm locked in. Why is you walking on the Space Mountain tracks? Are you talking about like the respawn screen? What? I've never been to Disney, so like I've never seen Space Mountain. Overworld. I don't- I have no- See what I said earlier? You're dictating the conversation and I have no clue what- where we're going. Where I'm gonna go Cotton Eye Joe. Why are you saying damn? <laughs> go to Disney with your sister? Um, she told me she refuses to go to California Disney again. And she said she wants my first ever Disney trip to be Disney Sea in Japan. And she said we can maybe do it next year. Actually, no, they're canceled. No, but like Disney Sea is so cool. I want to go. Guys, if I ever do travel, I'm hiring a camp. Wait, what the fuck? A desk. The key better be in my pockets or I'm going to scream. There's no way for me to see if I have the key in my inventory. I guess the only way we'll find out if I have the key is if we get back to level three. Ugh. 
So I know you guys are talking about like boycotting Disney, but like I'm I'm trying to not like flip my shit. <laughs> You know, we love indie developers, but please make things clear. It's okay, we're talking to each other, not you. Okay, W. <laughs> I, okay, I'm like, I'm locking in. I'm locking in. Okay, I can't see shit. I'm doing this just so I respawn. I'm like, really, I don't want to fight anybody. I'm a pacifist. I'm a lover, not a hater. Also, I do not have 133 hours in the game. It's just glitching from 13 to 133. Let me in. Let me fucking in. Oh my god, let me in. Please remind me to not eat the fucking pineapple if I, I almost click on it. Okay, it's this fight again. This is agony. I've never been to Disney anything. Me neither. Like, Disney World is for rich people. It's like a rich person's playground. But Disneyland and Disney World of Japan is cheap compared to America. Okay, we gotta attack Paper Guy. I don't know if I would enjoy Disney, honestly, because I can't go on any rides for medical reasons. And then I can't walk around all day. Like, I, I would literally, I would need a wheelchair. Like, didn't Disney like make an announcement saying that they're gonna make their requirements to get like a I don't know what the pass is called, but like the special pass for disabled people harder to get? And it's just like I don't wanna deal with that shit. According to Google, Disney Park tickets are hundred dollars. It's not as bad as I thought. I think I think they're like 150. I don't know. I've never been, so... No, I should work towards... This scissor combo right now. I just want to go to Japan again. The shorter one is doing something. You know, I want to go back to my homeland. I'm for the gen. <laughs> oh my god, I gained so much health back. Fuck. Wombo combo. Sorry guys, I'm like genuinely so annoyed at this game. I'm like... I mainly know because like it was my mistake. It's not the game, it's how the game is. Paper of V. Yeah, I don't want to go to Japan to get like merch or any like special items. I just want to go to experience the cities. You know, I like walking around. I like I I've, I've noticed I love architecture. I don't know shit about it. I just like looking at buildings. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so the other night, <laughs> the other night it was like late because I was taking the last last bus home the other night. And there was this kid. He looked like a teenager. He had a DSLR. Lens this long. He had a nice camera. And he was taking pictures of the buses. And I was eavesdropping a little bit because he was talking to the, the transit staff. And he was saying... He's like, oh yeah, I like how this specific bus has like this type of skin on it. And I like how this type of bus has like this type of like memorabilia on it. And I was like, oh my god. We have a bus, weeaboo. 
<laughs> it was so cute. Because, like, he just kept, like, asking all the trans and stuff, like, different questions. It was adorable. <laughs> what the heck is a DSLR? Oh, I don't know what DSLR stands for. Sifrin is now level 58. Mirabella is now level 49. Isabeau is now level 50. Odile is now level 50. We won! Uh, DSLR is what my camera is. It's just a- it's like a mirrorless lens camera where you can like manually focus and like change like different settings within it. Because you know when you look on your iPhone you can like tap the screen and it'll focus automatically and you can like change like the light settings in your phone automatically. A uh, DSLR is where you can like manually change it. With like a, it's like a mechanical um more like a mechanical camera. Like you know those big boxy cameras you see. Anyway guys, I have to run an ad. If you're not subscribed, fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm I'm beating this today. No, I'm not. I'm not beating this game today. Unless Sabathon. Hmm. Let's continue on. If I don't have that key, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. I won't die, don't worry. How delightfully naive. I suppose you won't mind if I throw your ashes to the nearest latrines, then. Huh. I get it, because I'm full of... Hey, are you done talking? Because... It's snack time. Okay, do not eat the pineapple. Do not eat the pineapple. So which snack do you guys want? You would like... I'll take the Madeline's. There you go! Bunny hands you some madelines. You bite into one. Soft. Delicious. After eating your snacks, everyone's health has been restored. Thank god I didn't fucking die. Holy moly. Okay, so now we gotta do floor three all over again. Floor three isn't too long, so I'm not like too annoyed about it. But if I don't have that key, because the key wasn't there when I respawned, so I assume it was just like part of the save. Still here. doing up running away i'm not running away from my problems i am not i'm locking in i'm facing all the battles hey okay, everybody's lower level now huh Breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Okay. I think I need to equip some of the perks from Mirabelle. Oh, 
Oh. If you respawn at an earlier point, you still know how to do the skill, but you can't do the skill unless you have it equipped. So that means... Fuck. You can only have one. That sucks. Probably better to have the unfreezing one. for stream um i have a list of games that like are for youtube videos so poker rogue i want to do two streams of poker rogue one stream ends when i die so it'll be like a five minute stream and then stream ends when i beat poker rogue which could be another subathon <laughs> And then, since the new Cult of the Lamb update just came out, I kind of want to do my uh, stream ends when I beat the one who waits at the hardest difficulty. I still haven't done that, and it's been like a year. I just forgot. But, honestly, I, <laughs> I need to stop doing longer streams for edits. They're fucking horrible to edit. And then, what else do we have? Another just chatting coming up, of course. But in terms of, like, long-term game, probably... Oh, fuck. That's cool. Moonlighter. The other game that was in the poll that I had on Twitter. Because I forgot how much I love these longer games. Like, yeah, they're not super, like, engagement-heavy or chat-heavy, but I still like playing them. They're good to sprinkle in. More cooking and more quest. More cooking, Mama? Thank you for the 200 bits. Can we get some with Cantons? First cheer of the day. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Cooking Mama's a blog term. Ah, <laughs> uh. oh, shit. They're all fucking weak. Now... I'm down to do more cooking, Mama. I just have to buy the games. Because aren't I know there's one for the Wii. And then there is... Several for the DS. So for the DS one, you know, I can get my little paper DS. Like, I'd be down to do more beating all the recipes in one sitting stream for every single Mama's game. But I don't want to do it too soon. But that is in the works. Damn, everybody's so low level now, this is annoying. 650 XP received. Odell is now level 51. Once again, thank you for the 200 bits, Vic. Vicantant. <laughs> I can't. Everyone's fine health wise. Oh, wait, I was here already. What the fuck am I doing? I'm losing my mind. I have to go to the left. I think Cooking Mama was my favorite to watch you play. You're just admitting that you liked me playing motion play games. Which. Sus. <laughs> 
Do you also want me to play WarioWare? Wait, I need to not ruin the combo here. W. September's coming up, and then October. What? Okay, I need to start planning for like holiday streams. What do you guys want to do for Halloween this year? And no, I'm not doing another NPC stream. I'm not running a bank. You breathe in and out. 1,000 XP received. Isabel is now level 51. down to do pumpkin carving this year because last year i said i didn't want to because i was too scared of knives but now like they don't scare me <laughs> not implying anything because you guys cannot leak and this is not going in the youtube highlight but an idea i had for both christmas and halloween is to do now nobody steal this i don't want to see you guys posting little videos on tic tacs doing this People have already probably done this before, but nobody steal. It'll be carving a pumpkin in 5, 15, or 5 minutes, 15 minutes, and then an hour. And then, like, comparing them, trying to make the same pumpkin. Like, you know, people do, like, 1 minute sketch, 10 minute sketch, hour sketch. Kind of like that, but with pumpkin carving. And then, I also want to do that with gingerbread houses. I think the gingerbread house one would be more funny. Like, trying to assemble a whole house in five minutes. Yeah, so for sure, doing that this year. It... I also want to try and make, like, last-minute Halloween costumes. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. But then what else can we do? I feel- wait, I feel like learning how to face paint, that could be kind of fun. Well, I hate shit on my face. Should I hire an actor? Wait. Wait. Oh my god, they're gonna die. They lived. Okay, okay. Make cookies? For Halloween? Oh, you mean for Christmas? We did- I didn't make cookies, but I made cake pops one year for Christmas. It was for my sister's work, and then they laid her off like a week later. She got laid off right before fucking Christmas, those assholes. She don't work there no more. She has a way better job.
I love when people make cookies for Christmas. Our family used to do that too, but it was just really frustrating. Because, not to trauma dump, but my mom isn't like the nicest person. Ooh, Mirabel learned Shining Life. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, so if you level up your characters, they can naturally relearn the skills and the memories. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That is chill. Okay, okay, that's not horrible. Okay, so they can naturally relearn, okay. Anyway, so like, doing cookies every year was like, not fun at all. But, you know, I'm really glad that you have good memories concerning that. So should we make another pie for Thanksgiving, but like make a real pie, not a pumpkin pie? Oh, wait, I was saying about like the face paint stuff. I wonder if they had... Because like people go to cosmetology school, right? Like they learn how to do makeup, they learn how to do hair, nails. There has got to be, like, a mannequin you can buy that is realistic. Like a head mannequin, right? If if I can get one, then we'll do a learning on a face paint. I think that could be funny. <laughs> like, doing it, doing it on a mannequin, not a, not a real person. I think that could be kind of funny. I'm gonna write that. Let's see. Face Halloween face paint on mannequin. But we could also do scary stories. Because, guys, the funeral isn't like scheduled scheduled yet, but my mom is saying she wants to do like the very end of October. So for Halloween streams, we'll have to do them like a week early. Most likely. It's not confirmed yet, but I'll let you guys know. Oh, wait! Okay, so there was one stream where I wanted to do Mad Libs. Like, people can either, like, in the stream or with a Google Doc submit words for, like, a Mad Lib. We could do Scary Story, but Mad Libs. Wait, I love that. Okay, so for Halloween, we have Scary Story, Mad Libs, Pumpkin Carving, Face Painting... I need one more stream for Halloween. Oh, and then last minute costume ideas. W. Halloween's planned already. Why am I going this way? I don't need anything. Oh yeah, so now they do have Shining Life. But they didn't re-earn moving here. Weird. 
Hi, Mac. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hi, Mac. Are you hanging out with your GF? Smile. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Easy. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Not this guy. Perfect timing. Marceline needed a heal. Nice. You breathe in and out. 1000 XP received. Here again, now my fourth time battling this guy. Surely he'll still be rock type, right? Yes, it is. It's almost like I fought this battle three times already.
god damn you breathe in and out 1100 xp received Sifrin is now level 59 You got a star crest. You put the star crest in your pocket. Lucky! I wanted them to get me, don't worry. stall the fight just so Mirabelle can heal themselves. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. The tear floats gently. You have a star crest, so use it. Yes. <laughs> now please tell me I have the key. Well, thanks to well, thank the stars you're back here. You try not to audibly sigh in relief. Key time. You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Okay, so I did have the key. Thank goodness. Whoa! Isn't that the key you found in the classroom? If you didn't pick it up, Sifrin, wouldn't we... Wouldn't we be super stuck right now? Yeah. Phew, we got so lucky. We sure did. Hmm. There was a piece of paper stuck to the door. Can I see? Mirabelle is looking at the note intently. It's the one that said to look inside that kid's notebook to find the key, wasn't it? Are we going? Let's go, let's go! Uh, uh, yes, let's get going. She knows. Finally, something new. I'm just gonna push my way through. Oh yeah, Sivrin still has all the skills. Let's go. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. We continue on. Wait. Over there. Isn't that... A bathroom? <laughs> Seems so. Oh. Um... He scrims uncomfortably. Better make a small detour to the bathroom. Okay, I guess we gotta go to the bathroom. The bathroom. Bathroom! Bathroom! Bathroom. So, does anyone need to go? Raise your hand. Just so you know, if you do need to go... When they make books about this moment, I'll be sure to mention how we needed to stop for a bathroom break. A few people raised their hands. 
You might as well go, too. All right. Let's meet back here once everyone's done powdering their nose. You close the bathroom stall door. You don't really need to go, but there is something you need to do. Away from everyone. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, I thought it was something scary. You fist bump the air and whisper a yell, Yes, yes, yes! Under your breath. Yes! You're all doing it! You're all getting so close to the king! And it's all thanks to you and this blessing! Whoever, whatever blessed you with this, thank you! Do you think? Whether it's the universe, the change god, that tree, the stars, the moon, anyone! Thank you! Ah, stars. Can you imagine if you only had one life? You have died right at the start. And if not then... And if not then, one of you might have been frozen in time forever by touching one of those tears because you were all a bunch of curious idiots. But you have this power! This craft! You'll never die for good! You'll always be able to start again! You quietly jump in place with a big grin on your face. One, two, three, four jumps. You jump a final time, out of breath. And try to take a deep breath in and out. Phew. Alright. You're so close to the king, you'd almost taste it. You need to stay focused. Or do you? You can always loop back. Start over. Make sure nothing bad happens to you or the people you care about. The king will never know what hit him. He fists about the air one final time for good measure. You exit the bathroom. All right, everyone refreshed. Noses powdered up. Bodies emptied. Emptied? <laughs> emptied. Is that she's asking if you pooped? All refreshed, nose powdered, and bodies emptied over here, madame. Sifrin, you nod. Good. Let's get going then, shall we? Can I go again? Nothing else to do in here. I guess not. No traps. Well, I thought there'd be something in this room, but... But it's a crabbing dead end! Language. But there's an intact statue the change got over there. Oh, she's right. Isn't it the first we've seen in the house? It's a trap. Checking the pillars? No traps. Their face obscure, their silhouette shrouded, their expression hidden. An intact statue the change god stands before you. Peace I to pray. Everyone is lost in thought, most likely sending their wishes to the change god. Join them. Odal isn't. But you know what? Why not? I'll I'll do it. Better than nothing. You wish for victory. <laughs> huh? You're holding something. You're holding the key knife. Sifrin? Oh, what are you holding there? A knife! Did... Did the change god give it to us? Huh? No, it can't. I, I think they did. With it, we can... What? We're back here. What the... That's... Floor 3's entrance. The change god beamed us there. That's... Well, at least we don't have to backtrack. I'm not gonna ask questions. Uh, thank you, change god, for this boon. Thanks, change god. Thank you! You and Oda look at each other and shrug. Thank you, change god, or expressions, or whatever deity gave us this knife. Uh, thank you. And there's a save point. You reach towards the light. Everyone was healed. Your allies' craft skills and your allies craft skills and experience have been recorded for this location. Yes, I will save. Okay. 
Everybody's so low level though. I'm gonna check everybody's memories. Everybody's okay. Let's go to the door. The gate stands in front of you. You know, I was wondering. Like, the king clearly closed this door and put the tears in our way. But the... But the locked doors, weren't they... Yes. We were wrong. They're most likely locked by residents of the house. When the house was attacked, no one knew what the king's power were. So they must have thought locking him in would have been enough to stop him. But by that time, he'd already made sure Vagard had been slowly freezing in time. So, people in the house were trying to save Vagard at the risk of their own lives. But it was all for nothing. It did get in our way more than anything else. But there's one... But there's no way they could have known. They tried. And yet the king... This... Oh wait, the camera's out. Thank you. I didn't notice. Okay, we'll do it again. God damn it. What is going on? What in tarnation? Do, do. Maybe I gotta turn my fans up. I'll turn my fans up. Full speed fans. Fuck it. I would not have noticed. Thank you, Vic. Um, editor, just, like, put a note on screen that the camera cut out. This, this one changed king, I'll, I'll, Belle, we should get going. I'm predicting there will be a strong sadness in the next room for you to cut onto Rubbins, Mirabelle. Okay. You get ready and slice the door. We're in. The key knife broke on impact. Maybe it wasn't sharpened enough. That's too bad. You're sure you could have found a use for it elsewhere, but at least the gate is open. There's another secret, isn't there? That's fine. Well, I mean, obviously we're gonna have to reset again, so... Mental note for later. Whoa. It looks like that key Pokémon! Another strong sadness. We should... Let's go, everyone! Mira. Yeah, what she said! <laughs> the Mirabelle blow off some steam. Battle time it is. Battle start. We're faster. Oh, 
Okay, so I can attack different parts. They're shielded against every single attack right now, so I probably have to attack the hand. <clears throat> the hands first. Attack everyone. Yep, I gotta attack the outside enemies first. Our defense is already up, so I don't want to do that. Let's just do kaboom. Make the enemy slower, since Odal does not have an attack that attacks every single enemy. Oh, it only slows one? Oh. Oh well. In a while, Rockadow, we didn't check this, deals weak rock damage to one enemy, gives two jackpot points instead of one. Oh, okay. One hand is out. The big one is now vulnerable to scissor attacks. <gasps> nice! Using the scissor move now on bourbon. It still resists a little bit, but at least it can take hits now. I'm trying to get the scissor combo right now. That's fine. Giving my turn to Sifrin. That way they can do one more scissor attack. I don't want to ruin the combo, so I'm going to guard with Odile. And the final scissor attack. Nice. The big one is now even more vulnerable to scissor attacks. The big one is now vulnerable to rock attacks. Damage all enemies again. Nice. 
the big one is now even more vulnerable to rock attacks. I'm immune! <laughs> Imagine wasting your turn on that. Paper attacks don't do much. Almost there. <laughs> oh, we're too slow. But it's okay. Next hit, we'll take him out. It should be Sifrin attacking. You breathe in and out. 7,000 XP received. Mirabelle is now level 51. Isabeau is now level 52. Odile is now level 52. Yes, we won! Let's... Come on, everyone, let's keep going! Mira. Dang, she's locked in. Oh, I thought my controller glitched. It was just me. She definitely has survivor's guilt. Someone this far into the house. Who? Claude! No! Oh. Is that... That's my roommate, Claude! Oh no, how could this happen? I... I hate my roommate. She's annoying and always bothers me for stupid reasons, but... But... I... Used to think she should... I used to think she should have become a defender. Because she was always helping people and trying weird experiments to solve their problems. And she would always, always help the head housemaiden with hers. Always trying new ways to organize her desk, to help her finish tasks, to make sure she gets some free time. She did it with a smug smile, saying it wasn't that big a deal. That she'd do it for anyone, but... If she knew that the head housemaiden was in danger, she would have ran anywhere, everywhere, so she could help her. Not only because the head housemaid would have solved anything, would have beaten the king if she could, but because... Because... If Claude was this far into the house, she must have tried to stop the king herself, so he wouldn't get to the head housemaid, and, and so... If she's like this... He must have... Oh... I think it's so funny how they have all the characters with ellipses, like... Ooh! I... I'm so... useless! No, you're not. You don't know what to say. You don't know what you should say. What can you say in a moment like this? Just let them, like, get it out. You don't want to interject too soon. Mirabel gently wipes dust away from her roommate's brow. Claude, if you can hear me, I'll be back for you soon. I promise. Let's go. Mirabel's roommate. Her eyes are open. Resigned. She was the one who was getting ready to make a bubble. 
In Mirabel's dorm room, wasn't she? She's holding something tightly in her fist. He kneeled down. It's a small vial labeled secret ingredient. You got the secret ingredient. You put the vial in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Oh, good thing I checked it. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Did we not get the other souvenir? Wait, we're gonna have to go back. Wait, we're gonna have to go back. I'm going back to her room? Because we missed the dialogue. For the, what you call it? For the second part of the Baba. And it's gonna make us go back. I know it is. No, I can't go back. They're such a jerk. Oh my god. No. It's gonna make us do it all over again. Let's keep going. Bell, wait a sec. Mira, wait. No! I can't wait. We can't wait. We have to move on. Everyone is waiting for me. They can wait a little longer. Let's calm down and... I can't calm down. The head housemaiden, she's so close. I can feel her. I need to help her. She needs my help. Everyone in Vagar needs my help. I... I... She's such a crybaby. <laughs> you don't know what to do. She's upset. You need to help. Mira. I... Do it with me, okay? Just like Sif does. Oh. <laughs> Isabel takes a deep breath, in and out. And Mirabeau follows a beat later. They breathe in sync, together. Ah. Uh, that is the thing that you do, yes. You. I. I am okay. But Isabel, you don't understand. The head housemaiden? I have to save her. Yeah, but, like, you need to give yourself some time to recoup. I love her. That's gay. <laughs> now she's really sweet. You know, why isn't Mirabel the protagonist? The head housemaiden? She's such a wonderful person. She helped me out so much. I couldn't do anything before I came to the house. I could barely sew my own clothes. And she helped me. She taught me. I wouldn't be the person I am without her. And when the king attacked, she protected me. Everyone. Everyone was being frozen in time around me. And the head house made made sure I could escape. Made sure I lived. She gave me her blessing. Huh? Her blessing? Do you mean the power to survive the king's curse? But wasn't that... It wasn't the change god. The change god really does anything. <gasps> it's a fraud. The change god just pushes up to greater heights. Ah. The change god just pushes us to greater heights, but rarely helps us themselves. The key knife we got earlier, it was the first time I felt their help. But the head housemaid and crafted a blessing so I'd survive. So I'd save her. Save everyone. But why? Why would she? I don't know why. Why wouldn't she use it herself? Why didn't she save a god herself? Why didn't she give her blessing to someone else? I don't know. I don't know. She shouldn't have used it. Not on someone like... Do you think she was wrong? To make sure you'd survive? I'm glad you're here, Mira. I'm glad you're here with us. Don't leave us behind. We're here. We want to help you. Don't be stupid run off ahead. Everyone? I... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have run off ahead. It's okay, Mira. Now it's Madame Odal's turn to talk. What? But you're all doing so well. I want an emotional speech from you too, Madame Odile. Yeah, don't you see her tears? 
How can you say no to this face? To prove Isabeau's point, you make a grand gesture towards Mirabelle as if to... As if to... As if... Plot twist, they were lovers? No, it, it's like teacher-student, which is, like, not appropriate. <clears throat> to prove Isabeau's point, you make a grand gesture towards Mirabelle as if they're presenting a marvelous art piece. Isabeau does the same. Bonnie also joins in. Mirabelle laughs, wiping her tears. Ah, okay, fine, please stop. Ah. Okay. I think it's silly for you to wonder if you were the right choice this late in the game. Meta? You're the one that was chosen. You're the one that found the orbs. You're the one that made it this far. So we can spend our very valuable time wondering if so-and-so could have saved Vagard better. But we're here. You're here. And now, the king is the only thing standing in our way. So you can have your little breakdown after we kick him where it hurts and spit on his grave. Madame, that was very good. A little too dry, maybe. I'll give you an 8 out of 10 for effort. That's a passing grade, Dial. Shut up. I... Whose tummy is grumbling this time? Dial, you have a tummy! Of course not. Well, your not tummy seems hungry. Bon Bon? Oh, I still have snacks! And they're ready now! Can you eat something, Belle? Yes, I can try. Okay, then I'll use sit the crap down! Snacks, 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 snacks. Okay! I have, um, I'll start with the worst one. Leftover samosas. From yesterday's dinner? Yeah, they're the ones I burnt. But I thought I should still keep them in case we get super duper hungry. Don't be mean to the burnt samosas, they were delicious. They really were. They're not the worst of anything. <laughs> okay, next one. I have... Polymers! Polymers? We all know polymers. They're yummy, they're crunchy, they get crumbs everywhere. Moving on. And, uh, the last snack. Okay, I've never tried it before, but... The smell hits you. Could they be... Malagna fritters? Oh. Whoa. Yeah! So? So? What do you think? I followed a recipe in a book. Huh. What are they? They're fried malagna and... Giramon! Malagna's a kind of root, and Giramon is some kind of pumpkin. This smells heavenly. Oh, stars, oh, stars, oh, stars. Sip's eyes are sparkling. And they're drooling, too. You wipe your mouth. You have to get them. So, which one do you guys... The Malagna Fritters, please. Yay! Bonnie hands you the delectable, yummy, wonderful Malagna... Malagna. Bonnie hands you the delectable, yummy, wonderful Malagna Fritters. They might be your favorite fried food ever. Favorite food period, maybe. You want to eat them whole so badly, but you have to pace yourself. You bite into one slowly, shaking them. Ah, they're so good, so good. You can't help but flail your arms around. Whoa. <laughs> Sip in your face. That good, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gross. After eating your snacks, everyone's health has been restored. You know who else might need some restoring? The non-subs, because guys, we are five hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free, ain't no way. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. I kind of want to keep playing. I don't know how long this arc is. But I'll look at the walkthrough really quick.
Okay, so I might have spoiled myself a little by looking at the bottom of the walkthrough because the walkthrough is separated by floor one, floor three. So you're supposed to go past this room. And you're supposed to like try the king one time and then you reset. So we'll try it. Oopsie. I didn't spoil like myself too much, but we're supposed to not save here. We're supposed to keep going. So we'll keep going. No worry, I was just checking a walkthrough. Because I want to find a good uh, stopping sp spot for today. I'm sorry, everyone. Being upset now? I shouldn't have. I should have kept it together. Mira, it's fine. We're all different kinds of upset right now. It's a stressful day. Do you feel better now that you're eating? I do. Thank you, Bonnie. And I'm less upset now, more... Angry. At the king. Yes. I feel more confident, too. We're definitely kick the king where it hurts. Oh. And where's that, Mira? His... His... His stupid crabbing butt! <laughs> yeah. You all laugh. You got a memory of butt kicking. You'll always remember this. When equipped, memory of butt kicking will make your housemate and revive one killed party member during a fight once. Ooh, that's kind of crazy. Like, automatically revive? Yeah, this one is learns the skill, Shining Life. This one is... will automatically revive. Oh. Okay. I wish you would tell me what their current skills are. Oh, wait, it does. Okay, let's see if I unequip the Shining Life, what happens. Oh yeah, they don't have the the shining light one anymore. Mm. Okay, well, they should be able to unfreeze, unfortunately. Yeah, because they learned the shining life naturally when I was leveling. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep the unfreezing power. Is Belle okay? Is she okay? I think she's okay because she ate some snacks. It's when you can't eat that you're not doing well at all. Makes sense. Thanks for all those delicious snacks, Bonnie. Oh, that's... It's okay. Did you like those Melagna thingies? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I made them for you, you know. I saw you look at a recipe book for a very long time. And you were looking at that recipe. And I didn't know if you were staring at it because you really liked it or really hated it. So I'm glad you actually really... Liked... It. I... I, I mean... Yeah. Bonnie's supposed to hate us. They made them for you? You made them for me. No! I, I I made it for... Bonnie frantically looks around. For Dial! I made them for Dial. Because she likes to try new foods. I do not. Yes, you do. I suppose I do, then. See? I made them for Dial. Not for you. Go away now. Don't look at me. Make like a crab and go. A little lightheaded you go.
Uh, this is awkward. Mira, how are you feeling? Good. One word answers are really reassuring. They are. Now, two word answers. They're terrifying. <laughs> huh. I'll be fine, Sifren. Thank you for asking. Thank you for being here. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else, Mira. She gives you a gentle smile. Mira, she's strong, but the situation must be super stressful for her. We gotta stay at her side, okay, Sif? You nod. What you said to Mira? Huh? What did I say? Do it like Sif does. Oh, the deep breath. Um, well, it's just something me and Mira noticed. Sometimes when you're taken off guard, or when you get out of battle or something, you always take a deep breath in and out. It's to calm yourself down, right? The breathing? You always do it the exact same way, too. You go like this. Isabel puts his hand on his chest and breathes. Deep breath in, and out. Mira and I wonder what that was all about, and we talked about it, and realized it kind of seemed to calm me down. And we thought it was cool. And that one time a few days ago, Bonnie was upset and you told them to do that, so we remembered. It does calm you down. How weird. To be noticed and known. Was telling you weird? I think that was weird. I shouldn't have said that because now you might get self-conscious. I'll try not to. Okay. <laughs> oh, what's up, Mira? Yeah, Isabel. You should be careful. He might make Sif and self-conscious about breathing. <laughs> you snort. Ha. <laughs> A lot of emotions being expressed right now, aren't there? I feel bad that I didn't notice Mirabel wasn't doing well. I should have paid more attention. I'm glad Issa is here. Yeah. Neither of us are very good at this feeling thing, and Boniface is a child still learning how to manage theirs. So it's good we have at least one person who knows what they're doing, emotions-wise. So... In the spirit of being a person, so, in the spirit of being a person good at this feelings thing, how are you feeling right now? You're all good. I'm fine. That's good. You open your mouth to ask how she is, but I'm good. Feelings check over, go away now. You leave her alone. I love Odile. You reach towards the light. Everyone was healed. Save her progress? Yes. I assume, hopefully, we be, we'll be able to warp here, and we'll just level and level for the final king fight. But let's keep going. The king must be up ahead. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, there's there's little tears right here. They want us to die. It is the king's hair. I knew it. Okay, what voice should I give him? Oh! 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 Young ones! Are you here to kill me? Oh! Young lady! You stand for change themselves! Do you not? I, I, I just want the world to stay the way it is now, to be frozen in eternal beauty, a world of everlasting peace and rest, young housemaiden. In a way, isn't my wish a form of change? Why aren't you on my side? Oh, can't you feel it, young lady? The universe yearns for 
Sorry. Are we allowed to give opinions? Sure, just like, no bad words. This game is a long one, so we probably got like 10 more hours left. <clears throat> it was fun at first, now it's really long and getting boring. I think the dev could have done better. I understand the gimmick of like the looping mechanic. It just, it takes so long to fucking get back to where you need to go. But otherwise, I think it's okay. It is what it's intended to be. I just want to see what happens next. But yeah, like I definitely feel like two hours of gameplay we did today could have been like skipped. But you know what? It's okay. That's why we love indie games, because that just means their next game will be better. Okay, I'm locked in. <clears throat> the universe- The universe. The universe yearns for everyone's hopes to be encased in limitless ice. Won't you allow your fate to be ended? Corrupting and ending people's lives? Call this a form of change. You dare compare your dreams of ice and stillness to change themselves? This is not true change. This is just you acting as a god would, for your own satisfaction. One would think keeping a whole country from changing and evolving is the furthest thing away from change. Pretty self-explanatory, stupid. Well, don't be calling the king stupid. He's gonna freeze you. Seems like a pretty pathetic way to appeal to a housemaid's good nature, huh? Is that what you want then? For us to peacefully let ourselves be frozen in time? I'll never be on your side, King. Not in a million years. Oh, ha. Huh. Spoken like a true housemaiden of change. But, wait. You, Traveler. Wodan well, looks at you with an expression screaming, does he mean you or me? You shrug. Bright one. Oh. It's Oda. Oh, so he means you. Do you remember? Remember? Remember what? Oh. Oh. It seems you do not. We shall fight. And we shall see which side the universe favors. Okay, he's seen me before. Uh-oh. Show your face, coward. Everyone feels stronger, everyone feels faster. Who thinks I'm gonna beat this first try, Tap 1? Oh. Oh. Despite what you may think, I am a merciful king. I will give you some time to come to terms with your end. A most beautiful end. An eternal end. Wow, he's really taking us over chumps, isn't he? We've gotten this far. We will not back down. Get ready, everyone. Okay, he's got a huge... His health bar takes the whole screen. The king waits. Hmm. Okay. He is doing fists. I'm gonna make us faster. Boost our defense. Doing all my status moves at the start. And we'll have Odile examine. A man so infuriated by the world's progress, he decided to end the world by stopping time itself. Be ready for anything. Oh my god. Okay, I can only attack the king. Let's slow him down. Hmm. 
booster attack. Okay, all the status moves have been done. So for every turn my characters get, the king gets... Or every two cycles, the king gets a turn. Let's build up a rock combo. The king is slower right now. He doesn't have any other debuffs. Smash. And Bonnie actually got a hidden. Okay, I don't want to lose the rock combo, so I'm just gonna guard Mirabelle. Nice, okay. It's now Sifrin's turn. Giving my turn. To bow. No, I'm gonna give it to Odell, because Odell only has rock one rock turn move. One rock time move. Oh. I used it already. Oh no. Dang it! Oh shoot. Okay, I gotta guard then. Oh, oh! It is time, saviors. Wait, did he flip us off? You see a vision of the future. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't have the strength to go on. One hit. One hit. The king got you all in one hit. You'd laugh at you. You'd laugh if you had the energy to do so. You can't move. You can't see. You can't really feel anything either. You don't think you'll get out of this one? Ah, uh, Sif. We can't. Let it end this way. Come on, your useless body. Oof. No. Not your allies there. No, you, you can't let him. You can't let the king hurt them. Bonnie. Just run. The sound of footsteps. Oh, they escaped. We need to buy them time. No, please. Not your allies. You have to do something. Move. Move. Move! Please. Do whatever you want with us. But don't hurt Bonnie. Please. Oh. Oh! Do not worry. After I take care of you all, the young one will have a wonderful rest. But before that, the king strikes. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Everything hurts. You can't move. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Oh. You feel a tug on your stomach. And then... The king killed you. Oh! I didn't click nothing. Loop 10. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that was awful. You try to catch your breath. Your body is fine and unharmed, but your brain still hasn't gotten the message, it seems. Stars, this was awful. Did he really kill you in one strike? Yeah, it was 5,000 damage. This feels a little disrespectful, doesn't it? That attack was so strong. Why was it so strong? How is he so strong? That strike hits so hard, you don't even know... That strike hits so hard, you don't think just... Buffing? That strike hits so hard, you don't think just... You don't think... Okay, sorry. Run-on sentences are hard. That strike hits so hard, you don't think just buffing your defensive skills or equipment will be enough to survive it. 
Is there something out there that could protect you against it? A craft skill, maybe? Mirabelle. She's the one who usually heals you while in battle. She knows healing crafts you've never heard of. Maybe she would know something. But for now... You got a memory of defeat. You'll always remember this. When equipped, memory of defeat gives you three memories of skirmish instead of one when you defeat regular sadnesses. Back to the stage, Sifrin. You have a king to beat. Okay, so it implies that we're going to reset a lot. In memory of looping, let's see. Memory of defeat. Gets three times memories when defeating normal sadnesses. Yeah, that's implying that we're going to have to reset and level a lot. And, like, go back and find secrets. Yeah, increasing... Because what I have now is memory of looping. Get 5 max HP per loop. That doesn't really matter. Because if the king can do 5k, we have to find an item that will, like... Revive us from not getting KO'd immediately. Memory of defeat it is, then. Well, back to the stage. Oh, I can save here. Okay, so I think I will pause here. So that was Act 2, Floors 1, 2, and 3. It took, oh my god, like over 10 hours to do all the looping. I'm still enjoying this. It may seem like I'm getting frustrated, which yeah, the looping can get annoying at times. But it's part of the gimmick, it's part of the game. I don't mind it too much. And I think now that I have the memory of defeat, we're probably going to be looping and looping a lot. So, I'm not sure what to expect. It's probably going to be leveling, probably going back and getting secret items. Probably doing the, the secret doors that have the messages in them. There's probably going to be something in there. But yeah, that concludes this part. If you liked and watched this far, subscribe, leave a comment. And if you want to watch me play games live, you can follow my Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Peason underscore 17. Thank you for watching. Fuck, that's going to be a long as edit. 10 hours of footage? Bro. Okay, well, I think we'll pause here for today. We'll pause. Because I don't know what to expect from this point now. Okay, let's pause and get some, like, actual music on. Hmm. I figured the king was going to kill us no matter what. Like, that was going to be unavoidable. There has got to be a secret item somewhere. Or we probably- No. Because we unlocked all the skills that Mirabelle can learn. There's probably a secret one or some shit. Okay, I'm going to get some music on real quick. What do you guys think? I'm still going to beat this game. We're not going to quit. We ain't quitting. I'm not a quitter. Besides the time that I am. Okay, we're going to switch gears to a daily game. I want to play Sap. And no narcs. But I did get a winning sub earlier today. W! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Wait, I don't think you guys can hear the music. There it is. I fixed it. Okay, while I'm getting sap set up, guys, just a reminder. Today's stream is presented to you by... Oh my god, peace and dash. I almost said shit. Peace out to my shop. <laughs> See all the lovely paintings back here? It's my artwork. If you want to buy it, please do so. It helps support the stream and me. You can use code TWITCH10 for $10 off today. Also, new Lionel prints are available. I'm hoping to have new illustrations, like just normal illustrations drawn by hand, out within, uh, let's say, two weeks, minimum. That's my goal. Now that I have more time to actually make art, because we don't got to fly to Hawaii this month. W. So guys, bookmark the website. It does help me out a lot if you at least bookmark it. So do it. Okay, let's open SAP. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do.
Wait, nobody's playing sap on stream right now. Oh, just one game, surely. It's still loading. Why the fuck is the game still loading? Sorry, I don't. I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> I want to play more of In Stars in Time, but like, I don't want to start the next arc. It's already 3 p.m. and it's been five hours. I don't mind doing longer streams, it's just I get hungry. Can't put my hair up. Also, guys, I'll do one little game of sap. Do you think I will win? Go gamble. I mean, gamble with your channel points, not gambling. I kind of want to plug my headphones in. Because I changed the way that I capture audio in OBS. So now I can easily switch from like my computer speakers to my headphones. And I, I always forget that I can now. Pro tip, if you want to like exclude sources in OBS, capture audio via window or application versus like from your actual desktop audio, like the output source. Oh, oh my God, it's so loud. For me, it was loud. For you guys, it's normal. Oh my god, it was so loud. Who is ready for set? Okay, I'm gonna win. Guys, go gamble. Do we have any doubters? Do you think I will not win on my first and only game? We need some doubters. We need some stakes. Oh my god, I went to Applebee's. I think it was like two or three weekends ago. Like, in honor of my grandma. And I think I said this already on stream. And it's been like months like four or five months since I've had a steak and my grandma she loved chewing on grizzle like the chewy bits of a steak and I remember I had a huge piece of grizzle and I was like cutting my steak I was like oh my grandma would have liked this and I looked at my friend and we we're both like oh you're gonna win W I think I played uh, I played I think uh, three games this morning and on my third game I won also we need a doubter I want Vic to lose all their points. <laughs> okay, should we, what should we play? Okay, do you guys want to do the weekly or the turtle pack? I'm kind of down to do the weekly pack. First person to type a chat picks. Should we do weekly or turtle? I'm kind of like getting bored of the turtle pack. I got 35k points. You're rich. Wait, what, what did I get earlier? I forgot. History. Yeah, these are the games I played today. Oh yeah, this was the weekly pack. I won. Right here. Three hearts left, too. I kind of want to do the weekly pack. When VIP is a million, I'm poor. What? You want to, like, pay to win to get VIP? You think that's fair? I only have three VIPs in my chat now. Mac used to be VIP, but then I beat Pokemon finally. <laughs> okay, let's do the weekly pack, normal mode, because I'm not a tryhard. Okay, I don't necessarily have a strat yet for the weekly packs, but getting health early on is important. Freezing the apple, re-roll. Okay, the, this little guy, 
Alchemides is good to get in the start because you get an extra plus one mana damage, which is kind of like rock damage. Uh, sus. Slow scouts. The tier three gets VIP. No, imagine. Oh, I'm gonna die. That's fine. As long as I get one win, it'll be okay. I'm gonna keep this guy for a while. Yeah, this is good. You did spell tear wrong both times. And I think that kind of um, disqualifies you from ever getting VIP. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. Unless... I live. <laughs> okay, getting at least one win in the first two turns is huge. I don't like any of these. L. Buy the ant so it levels up next turn. Dude, all of these are shit. Leveling up the ant? <gasps> Ooh, huge! Giraffe has started turn. Hmm. I want the giraffe in first. Giraffe. Giraffe. Oh, shit! I forgot you can only choose one of the level up pets. I should have taken the camel. I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> I forgot! Oh, no! It's okay. It'll spawn later, probably. Hopefully. It didn't matter. I want better pets. Dude, I'm not- I'm getting jack shit for pets! What is going on? Dude, absolute dog shit. I'm livid. The unsubtle hands? Flesh. Dude, they got a gorilla already? I mean, orangutan? That's fine. I did five parts. I was doing good. Give me orangutan. Garlic for next turn. Now that I have a yak, put him in the front. Giraffe right behind the yak. That way, every time it takes one damage, the giraffe will give it one back every single turn. Um. Yeah, I like that setup. this. Not. It's because my orangutan had such low attack. Freeze in the apple. Level up the egg. Low fish. Oh, 
Selling the ant, buying the blowfish. Reroll, reroll. Freeze in the garlic, because I want that for sure next turn. Ooh, camel as well. Yo, really good lineup so far. Depending if I want to put the blowfish in the front. Yeah, I'll do that. I kind of want to do more rock damage from the jump. Ooh, a draw! Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. Two camels. Ooh, adjacent friends plus one. Okay, for sure getting rid of this guy. Swapping it for the camel. Garlic to the blowfish. I don't need the giraffe because I have the orangutan. I'm going to freeze the deer for now. I'm debating if I want the fish or the deer. I don't need the fish because the orangutan gives everybody health anyway. Deer in the front. Yak here. Yeah, this is a much better formation in my opinion. Intern. As long as we have the orangutan, I don't need to heal the egg. Yeah, now we're cooking. Dear, more additional damage. Reroll. Nothing really good here. I'm going to redeem the apple. That way, I can have two atom spots to reroll next turn. I'm gonna give it to the camel. Giving the deer more health isn't ideal, but it's fine. Easy! Four trophies down. Meet to the camel. All good things right here. Chili is good to give to the yak or the camel, but you have to make them tanky first, so I'm not going to redeem the chili. I'm going to give the chocolate to the camel. Uh, no good pets here. Ooh, rhino. Next turn, I'm swapping out the rhino for the deer. And a yak. So many good pets next turn. Yeah, I think definitely selling the deer for the rhino is better. Rerolling, rerolling. 
Plus attack. Random. Glad I went to the rhino. And let's see. What do we want to do? Rhino. Or sorry. Chili to the rhino. Because every time the rhino gets a knockout, it does additional four rock damage. So giving a chili to the rhino is advantageous because it can knock out the first pet and then the pet behind it. Yeah, since, since the rhino knocked out the camel, it got a knockout there. Dude, I got this in the bag. I don't want that. Okay, so now I could just buy pets. For sure, Yak needs more health. And let's see seven. Yeah, I'm gonna level up the orangutan. That way, the orangutan gives health to either the camel or the rhino this turn. Nice. Uh oh. No. Elephant, camel, rhino. Die, you dumbest bitch. Easy peasy, lem lens lemon squeezy. <laughs> Seven out of ten. Dude, I'm cracked now. I'm so good at this game. Um, leveling up the blowfish to see if we get a good pet. I don't like any of these. Freeze the taco, reroll. Ooh, pizza! And it went to my lowest health pets. Good. Enter. Damn, Yak is at 40 attack. Holy. Stop with the boulders, Jesus Christ. That was close. Way too close for comfort. Lots of good shit here. Level up the orangutan. Bear is good, but I'm at, I'm so like late in the game. I don't want to swap out a pet for a bear. At this point, the only pet I would swap out would be the orangutan, and it would be only if I had one heart left and if there was a mammoth. That way, I can get guaranteed additional health. Let's see, I got seven. I think I want to swap out the meat bone for the garlic on this turn for the camel, just so it lives longer. Okay, nothing really good here. I'll increase base attack for random pets. Nice. End turn. Uh oh, they also have a rhino. You know what? This is so easy now. How the fuck did it take me five hours to get a win that one time? Oh my fucking god. Uh, taco! Eh, I don't want to keep the garlic. I don't need her. I got nine trophies. I have three hearts left. I have three more chances to get a win. Mushroom Park! Ooh. Mushroom Park kind of crazy. Giving mushroom to the camel and the blowfish. Because when the camel dies, it'll give the one behind it an additional plus two and plus four. Because even if it's a one one, it still gives the perk. And same thing with the blowfish. It'll respawn as a one one, and then it's an additional six rock damage. There is a mammoth. I'm going to freeze the mammoth in case I don't fucking win this. But I will. In turn. Ooh, 50 15. 
Oof. Damn, they had... All the pets in the back were tanky. It's okay, I still got two hearts left. It's okay. Reroll. Okay, Apple. Apple to the Rhino because they need to increase their base health because the Orangutan is going to give itself 6 health. That way it'll make it a 715. That means my lo next lowest health will be... The Blowfish. I'm going to put the Yak behind the Camel to give it more health because it does have 50 attack. And turn. Come on, pull through. Do it a 33. Oh no. Nine out of ten. One heart left. Fuck. Okay. I'm selling the orangutan. I did say if I somehow get down to one heart, I'm buying the mammoth, which is what I'm gonna do. I have nine coins left. Blowfish? I was hoping to get a mammoth, but no. I can't reroll because I only have three coins left. Ability does plus damage twice or increase random attack by two. Okay, I think I need to increase the rhino health, so I'm putting the rhino behind the camel. Plus two damage the rice. So plus six damage. I think giving the pineapple to the mammoth is better because the mammoth does has 12 health. End turn. Okay. It all rides on this. Oh, they got a 44 Rhino? What the fuck? Oh no. Wait! My Yak is 50! Yes! On the wire! It's good that my Blowfish did have the Mushroom in case it did die. Let's go! I'm so good at this game now. Let's freaking go. Did I win? My first game on stream? Uh, yes sir. Thank you, believers. Thank you. You guys know I'm the best. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game now. I'm addicted. I play for like 20, more, 20 minutes every morning. So that was the weekly pack. I think that's my second win. No, it's my third win on the weekly pet. On the weekly pack for this week. Because I got this one right now. Uh, oh, you guys can't see it. It's cropped. Awkward. Uh... How do I move it? Look at that. That was just now. And then, earlier, I got this win. The Bright Breaks.
Oh, and that was my hard mode arena win. Insane. Oh yeah, I got a win on the weekly pack right when it came out, but it's not in my history because I think it only saves like your most recent 10 to 15 games. Dub, I'm so good at sap. Okay, well guys, we did our daily game. I'm sorry. But I'm going to wrap up stream here for now. But do not worry. It's not over yet. Because we did get bits today. Plus two. 200 bits. So we get to do calligraphy. You guys know the drill. Use your channel points or subscribe and I will write your name. I really do want to play more of in, in Stars of Time. I really do. But we'll save it for tomorrow. It's already been six hours. Holy shit. When people say streaming's not a real job. As I'm getting the camera set up, just a gentle reminder, new YouTube video out now. Click the link, go watch it. New pin it's in the pin chat now. We're no longer playing the scary game. There will be a new video out on Saturday. You know, I've been doing... Wait. Wait, I need to check my YouTube channel. I'll link a new tab. I think I've almost been shit, it's not letting me open my channel. <laughs> Your channel. There we go. I think it's been almost a year of weekly uploads. Let's see. Oh, okay. Weekly uploads since August 26th. Damn, almost an entire year, guys. I've been working like crazy. Then with the cooking at work, time to crash. W. You know, I kind of love, I liked working with food, but I don't understand how, like, I'll say it, people should not have to work full-time hours. Like, 40 hours a week, it's inhumane. I don't get, I don't like how it's the standard in the States. Like, why can't we have a three-day weekend? Oh my god, there's two of me. Forty, I wish. Oh, like you aren't full time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think the the only times that I had full time hours at my previous work was when people would call out or when I became management. Then I basically had full time hours. I do fifty. Oh. Sad. Do you get overtime or are you salary then? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Salary? Do you want salary, though? I don't know. I've heard good and bad things about salary. You know, you could say that I'm a salaried worker just with no guaranteed income. <laughs> Honestly, don't know. I think it depends on, like, what your work entails, right? Like, I think it makes sense to do hourly if you have, like, the same amount of work and the same tasks to do every day. In the sense of, like, when you clock out, somebody does the same shit you do. I think it makes a bit more sense to be a salary worker if you do different things every day. And then, because basically, in my opinion, when you're a salary worker, that means you're more essential to a company. But then in turn, they're more likely to exploit your work because you're not paid hourly. I don't know. I guess it just depends on like what you're comfortable with. But I know for me, mm, I don't know. I think I would only give salary wages to 
somebody that would need to be like hypothetically like on call sometimes like to answer questions or do tasks like in a non-scheduled manner like a producer or something because like a producer would not have to sit at a, at a desk for eight hours like planning projects like it's not like a producer could like or manager could like schedule five calls at a certain time every day to like get product made or get other people set up salary is more draining because you're expected to do the impossible i don't know okay i haven't like looked for a job in a long ass time but like you know when you like look at a job listing and then it has like the tasks and responsibilities that you have at work for managerial work is there like any clause that says like oh we'll like make you do whatever the fuck we want like is that a thing Anyway, thank you, Vicantant, for the 200 bits today. Thank you. Thank you. But I know for me, if I ever have employees, nobody's on salary unless they, like, actually want salary. Kind of, but in a more professional way? Yeah. <laughs> I want to see, I want to see, like, resumes, or sorry, not resumes, but, like, applications that are, like, brutally honest. I would love that. As needed per business workload. Oh, that sounds so corporate. Ew. Ew. Also, Vic, I refunded your AMA points because you said it was an accident. You better not do it again. Anybody else want their name written? This is your last call, guys. Last call. Even, like, individuals who work contracts, so, like, freelance artists, editors, or, like, third party. Um, I don't get why people would not be paid hourly. Like, I know some people want to be paid per project. But more often than not, people don't realize that when you pay or when you get paid per project, sometimes you work more hours than you anticipate. Sometimes there's more hours of, like, revisions. That's why if you're an artist, like any type of artist, editor, illustrator, any type of artist to where like you're not being paid hourly, always have a separate rate for a for fuck, not adjustments. Revisions. Be like I will I will charge you fifty dollars per revision, because a revision is gonna take you more than like an hour. I just want to be paid and live good. I mean, you're kind of already a few steps ahead when compared to other people your age, right, Vic? And that's great. But, you know, don't give up too much of your life to get a bag. I've only worked entry-level jobs, but I had managerial positions at both of them. And I gave my whole life, basically. When later I learned that they truly did not give a shit about me. But as long as you know your worth. And are getting paid adequately. And know your limits. Do what you gotta do. I'd rather grind it up for 20 years or retire young. What? Okay. What are you gonna do when you retire though? What would be your purpose? Think about that. Like, when you truly have no responsibility other than yourself, is that going to be fulfilling? I'm not saying find fulfillment in your work. I'm just saying, like, don't work yourself to the bone now. Because that's what I wanted to do. I was convinced that I was going to be working two jobs forever. That way I could do the shit I wanted to do when I was, like, 40 or 50. And it broke me. It broke me. I'm a homebody, so I'm going to love it. So you're, you're going to retire and just, like, stay home and play games? Go for it. But don't, like, focus too much on a bag. You know, you got to live life. 
Says me who's been live for six hours. Guys, I'm ending stream. <laughs> I read 10 books a month. If I retire, I would read like 20. <laughs> You're such a nerd. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm being so mean. I'm only mean because like I see with chat and like I kind of know you. Okay, is anybody live? She didn't leave my stream today, I think. I think she... Her schedule says she's starting at 6 or 7, but she's not live yet. Streamer bullied me. Clip it and see what LSS says. LSF. LSF. That's so hard to say. I'm putting the lens cap on my DSLR. It is actually my sister's. There we go. Okay. Thank you guys for watching any channel circus. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. Tomorrow, I'll stream because I probably won't stream this week and my sugar daddy wants to hang out. So, <laughs> when I, okay, just to clarify, anytime I say sugar mama or sugar daddy, it's my friends. I just think it's funnier because obviously I have no money. So, like, they pay for me. So, I, I call them my sugar mama and sugar daddies. Just to clarify, I'm not like fucking anybody. <laughs> Or getting Gucci bags, so not like off screen. Anyway, so I probably won't stream this weekend. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But you'll see me tomorrow getting through as much of in stars of time as I can. That is the plan. The plan is simple. Okay. If you guys want something to watch, new YouTube video now. Click the link to watch it. Stream ends or video ends when I beat Super Auto Pets. Let me just say skip to like 20 minutes in. There's a really funny compilation. Also, make sure you're subscribed to my offline social media. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Make sure you're following all of them. TikTok for clips, Instagram for nothing. And then on Twitter, I post right before I start stream. So follow the Twitter at least. But thank you all for watching. Once again, thank you to Vacantant, Vacantant for the 200 bits. I appreciate you. I hope you guys had fun, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye, Vic. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you had fun. And don't worry, I will do more cooking, Mom, in the future. I just gotta, like, figure out how to, you know, wink, obtain the games.